Hi, chat. We're back. Uh, last stream, we got a thousand years of dream segment uh, that I quit out of. I did not do. So we're going to be starting with that. Hey, Saz. Oh, the game music doesn't go away. If, eh, worst case scenario, we'll reboot. So, uh, the one we got was the one down there, They Live in Shells, I believe. Because, uh, last thing we did was we got imprisoned and then Kaim, uh, remembered this one. Oh, hold on, Jordan just told me something to call. Sure. He wish... He could do a special beam cannon. I'm going to litigate this the second this ends. I will not hear anything else from it. <clears throat> he, is, he is in darkness. Unlike the darkness of night, it is enclosed, devoid of depth or expanse. He hears a heavy door slowly rumbling open. A shaft of light shoots in, but it is not so well defined as that. The eyes accustomed to nothing but darkness, however, the faint gleam feels like a shower of sparks. Stop this, please. I beg of you, let me go. A young man screams echo through the emptiness. No voice answers him. Crouching in the darkness, Kaim counts the footsteps. Three men have come in. The disorderly footsteps probably belong to the young man. The other two are perfectly regular. Please, I'm begging you. It's money you want. It's all you could ask for on the outside. I promise. I won't forget to show my thanks to you, please. The only reply of the two men who have brought the young one. Here is the clunk of an iron lock opening. No, no, please, I'm begging you. I'll do anything you want. Anything. Dull thud. Sound of flesh tearing. Bone wrenching. Someone collapses. Or strangled scream. The clunk of an iron lock closing. Kaim knows the young man has been thrown into the shell diagonally opposite his own. When you're locked into one of these windowless shells, uh, your hearing becomes acutely sensitive. The fact that shells are not cells is screwing me up a bit. Don't do this! Let me out of here, please! Let me out! From the sound of the voice, Kaim can imagine a young man's face with boyish traces. A small-time hoodlum, hardly a step above a teenage gang member. When he was still on the streets, no doubt, he used to swagger down the sidewalk, his cunning but cowardly eyes darting every which way. The two men who brought him here maintained their silence to the end, their footsteps moving off together. The heavy door opens and closes again. Left alone in the darkness, the young man howls his entreaties for a time, but when he realizes they will do no good, he shouts himself hoarse, spitting out one curse after another until he begins to sob. Quiet down there. An old man calls out from one of the inner shells. It won't do you any good to make a fuss. Time to give up, Sonny. This is the voice of the oldest man living in the dozen or so shells lined up in the darkness. He was already here when Kaim was sent to this place. It is always his role to quiet and comfort the, uh... Obstreperous? What is that word? Hold up. Hold up. I got this. We got this. Hold on. Obstreperous. There we go. <laughs> it is always his role to quiet and comfort the... Obstreperous. Newcomers. I know that's really loud, but there you go. If you got time to ball like that, keep your eyes closed. Huh? Just make sure you keep sucking on your memories of the outside like a piece of candy. Sounds of suppressed laughter come from the surrounding shells. Kaim joins in with a smile and a sigh. All the shells in the dark are supposedly full, but few of their inhabitants are laughing. Most of them have lost the strength to laugh. Hey, Sonny. The old man continues in his role as an advisor to the newcomer. No point making a fuss. Just calm down and accept your fate. Otherwise, and here a note of intensity enters the old man's voice. 
they'll just drag you out of here feet first. This is exactly what happened yesterday to the former inhabitant of the young man's shell. He'd been screaming on and off for a day. Then came a day of banging his head against the shell wall. Then nothing. Until he was dragged out in silence. So. Get a hold of yourself, Sonny. Don't let the darkness swallow you up. Close your eyes and imagine nice scenery from the outside. The bigger the better. The ocean or the sky. Some huge field of grass. Remember, imagine. That's the only way to survive this place. This was the advice he always gave to newcomers. The young man screamed tearfully. Who the hell do you think you're kidding? Survive this place? And then what? I know what this place is. No exit prison. They throw the lifers in here. Give them just enough food to keep them alive. And in the end, they kick the bucket anyway, am I right? There's nothing left to hope for. His shouts turned to sobs again. This is the reaction of most of the newcomers. Nor are they mistaken. This is a prison. Each of the shells is a solitary cell with bars. The sun shines on a prisoner only on the day of his funeral. Everybody dies, Sonny, that's for sure. You just can't let your mind go before your body does. Hope doesn't have to fade unless you throw it at yourself. The old man goes on softly. Then he adds with feeling, this system we live under can't last much longer either. The old man is a political prisoner. As leader of the anti-government faction, he long resisted the dictatorship until he finally lost the struggle and was imprisoned. The young man has no ears for the old man's words, however. He continues thrashing on the floor and crying. This fellow won't be in his shell much longer than his predecessor. In a few days, or... In less than a month at best, he will go to pieces. The darkness is that powerful. Depriving a prisoner of light is far crueler than taking his life in an instant. My, my. The old man reflects, this fellow's not going to do us much good in a prison break. The old revolutionary laughs. Might be a genuine laugh or a bold front, but in any case, almost no one laughs in response. Tomorrow morning, or rather, since there's no clear-cut morning the darkness. After they go to sleep, wake up, and have their next meal, another cold corpse will be dragged out wordlessly from another shell. Hey, listen. How many of us are here now? The old revolutionary asks. Answer, if you can hear me. I can hear you, Kime says. His is the only voice. Man, this is bad. We were full up a little while ago. The old man gives a dry chuckle. Kaim asks. I wonder if something's happened out there. Maybe so, answers the old revolutionary. If you ask me, this would be about the right time for a coup d'etat or a revolution. My boys aren't going to keep quiet much longer. Uh, what was your name again? Kaim? Have you noticed what's happening? How there used to be a lot more guys getting thrown in here until a little while ago, and most of them real nobodies, not worth sentencing to life? Uh-huh. Sure. The young man was one of them, nothing but a small-time crook. It just so happens that the storehouse he broke into belonged to a rich man with ties to a powerful politician. This was the only reason they put him in a shell. The shells always used to be full. They would throw a bunch of men in here, and they would die. Then the new men would come, and they would die. The young man was one of those. The terror of being enveloped in darkness was too much for him, and he went to pieces. He was apparently having hallucinations at the end. I'm coming, Mama. I'm coming. Wait for me, please. Mama. He repeated over and over like a child. Where are you, Mama? Here? Are you here? And he gouged his own eyes out with his bare hands. I figured things were getting scary out there, the cops losing control, so the government was really starting to crack down, which is why these shells were always full. This is what brought the young man here, blood streaming from his eye sockets. He died, muttering in snatches, what did I do? Everybody knows damn well, there are plenty of men way worse than me. But now the place is empty. Do you know what that means, Kaim? Sure. 
There's so much crime out there now that the government can't suppress it. You've got it. The whole royal family might be strung up by now, for all we know. It's a revolution. It will happen any day now. That means you and I will get out of here. My boys will come and get us. Just hang in there a little while longer. Time nods in silence. The old revolutionary goes on. You're strong, Kime. Not many guys could stay as calm as you, thrown into a shell and enveloped in darkness like this. Not even Kime can explain it. It is true that he was strangely calm when they put him in the shell. The darkness was something he seemed to recognize as a distant memory. In the distant path, he too may have tasted the anguish of the other shell inhabitants so tortured by the fear of being sealed in darkness. How are you so tough mentally, Kime? Does it mean you too are a revolutionary? No, not me. His crime is hardly worth talking about. He resisted somewhat under questioning when they brought him in as a suspect. And for that, he was branded as a rebel and thrown into a shell. The old man is probably right, though. The country's dictatorship is almost certainly in its last days. It won't be long now. We'll be back in the real world before we know it. I have hope right in here. And it will stay here until I abandon it myself. The old revolutionary mutters as if trying to convince himself. The prison falls soon afterward. Armed young men come charging into the darkness and open the shell's barred doors. Embraced by his boys, the old revolutionary goes out. Wait! Kaim cries, trying to hold him back. But he is too late. Anxious to see the new world following the destruction of the old system, the old revolutionary steps outside and opens his eyes. It is evening. Though the sun is nearly down, its light is still strong enough to burn eyes accustomed to total darkness. The old revolutionary presses his hands to his eyes and with a groan, crumples to his knees. Kaim has saved himself by shielding his eyes with his arm. Not even he knows what caused him to do this. Could distant memories have taught him that the truly frightening thing about punishment by darkness is what happens after the release from prison? When could I have been imprisoned and where? More important, how long have I been on this endless journey? With bleeding eyes surrounded on the ground by his boys, the old revolutionary searches for Kaim. I came all this way, Kaim, only to make one terrible mistake at the bitter end. My eyes are probably useless now. This is precisely why he asks Kaim for one last favor. Tell me, Kaim, what is the outside world like? Has the revolution succeeded? Are the people happy? Are they smiling joyfully? Time opens his eyes slowly, and just barely, beneath the shade of his hand. As far as they can see, the ground is covered in bodies. The corpses of royal troops and revolutionary troops are heaped on one another, and countless civilians are dead. A mother lies dead with her small child in her arms, the bloody corpse of the child's father next to them, arms outstretched in a vain attempt to shield them. Tell me what you see, Kaim. Kaim fights back a sigh and says, You must work from now on to build a happy society. The old revolutionary senses the truth. I won't abandon hope, Kaim, no matter what. As if to say, I know that, Kaim nods and begins to walk away. Where are you going? I don't know. Someplace. Why don't you stay here and build a new world with us? You of all people can do that, I know. Thank you, sir, but I'll be moving on just the same. The old revolutionary does not try anymore to hold time back. Instead, as a parting gift, he repeats for Kaim the words he spoke so often in his shell. There will always be hope, wherever you are, until you yourself abandon it. Never forget that. Kaim walks on. His eyes chance to light on the body of a young boy lying at his feet. Boy breathe his last with eyes wide open in fear. Time kneels and gently closes the boy's eyelids. He knows deep down in a memory too far away for even him to reach that while darkness can be a great source of terror, it can also bring deep and lasting peace. Alright, we are now caught up. Now that we've cleared that one out.
it's very funny that shortly after you have that dream, Jansen does a comedy bit on a guard to get you out of jail. <laughs> There we go. All right. Uh, let's let's uh, hop in now that we're all caught up. <laughs> Special beam cannon. All right, so Alto was just saying, <laughs> saying to themselves, I learned so many special moves. <laughs> they were like, I, it makes me sad that that's probably a Pokemon thing because it makes me think that you wanted to be able to do a special beam cannon. And then I just responded with, and I do wish I could do a special beam cannon. <laughs> and then Alto laughs. Dude, check it out. Super Mario Adventure. Dude. Yo! <laughs> James' favorite game, right? I, I don't know about that, but he loves a lot of adventure games, dude. And Criminal Girls on the Vita. Ooh, a rat. Rock. <laughs> Hold on. What, what we got here? Stop. God damn it. Stop this. <laughs> Hey, everybody. You're just in time for our stealth segment. <laughs> oh, boy. Hell As yeah, you can dude. see, red red things moving across the fucking map here. You know what's fucking hilarious? What? You know how, how, how last stream we found out how much DNA was shared be behind, like, the Shadow Hearts guys? Yeah. Shadow Hearts 2 has a stealth segment just like this one. Oh boy. KZ, um, was last night the funniest night you've ever had looking at wrestling fans on Twitter since Mania? Yes. Okay. This one, this one. Uh, what happened last night? So Rock, the Rock came back and set up a match with, um. Look, it's him. I got caught. Oh no. With Dude, the, the, yeah. the fucking Black oh, Adam bomb. This bit is insane, by the way. He's like, oh, did you get put in there? I'm sorry, I'll let you out again. <laughs> oh, boy. Please don't hurt me again. His, his memory is all hurt. Uh, to make this shorter and not 45 minutes like Jordan might intend, The Rock came back, uh, and that makes it so that he will probably main event WrestleMania, because why would The Rock, a giant movie star come back for anything but something so really big and important. This. this means Cody Rhodes will not probably get the title shot that he is supposed there to get, go. disrupting storylines and commencing the misery of most wrestling fans. Been a great pal. Hey, let's get a drink later. That is a summation yeah. of the events that have occurred here. Take care. Not much else really matters in this current conversation. Rock but that is that, that is currently what is, so is occurring. Fucking bad. <laughs> Anyone told you have a voice that would be perfect for audio books? That's because I'm just so talented. Dude, it's great. You can subscribe You're very by, good hitting at the sub, by hitting the sub. I, yes. <laughs> I think I think when I was like in third or fourth grade, I did one of those reading tests and they said I was like mid to high high school level reading level or something. Something like that. Take that. Motherfucker. Also, is there supposed to be, uh. <laughs> is there, or is there like oh my god. <laughs> I imagine there's not supposed to be music. This seems normal. something funny where they illustrate that you shouldn't touch random objects by having a cut where come just kicks a fucking metal pipe. It looked like a sword, but it was playing the metal pipe sound. <laughs> you gonna kick that then? We'll try to kick it somewhere we aren't. We have kick mechanics. 
The Unreal Engine 3, baby. Alright, don't touch any of these. That shit's a trap. Operate. What's that do? Ooh. Ooh, double ooh. So is this a stealth adventure game? Not uh, currently right now. Who knows what it could evolve into. So many stats could go up. I learned some of these special moves. I hope I hope they have like references to the roots of what Lost Odyssey was going for, and they let me play blackjack. Number go up. <laughs> yeah, dude. I need that twenty-one. We're not getting over that thread for months, I think. Maybe you. years. <laughs> Maybe you. <laughs> Finally, people are are are, are once for <laughs> calling Zelda an adventure game. Of all stealth sequences I've ever done, never encountered the you close the door so it can't get to you. <laughs> I just want to say I've been a fan of Lost Odyssey since 2023 before it became too popular. That is true. Though I'm here for the wonderful writing and uh, Jansen, you're here because you're a gooner dream. <laughs> <laughs> I saw your post going, dude, they detailed the veins on her tits. And I'm like, okay, guys, you would be a follower of Thed. <laughs> Sometimes Thed will post the worst thing I've ever seen. And I just see Dream the replies going, good job, buddy. Fucking knocked it out of the park on this one. <laughs> It was the game with that. Yeah, I don't think it'll take too long for us to hit that either. I don't know why, but responding to goon posts with "Good job, buddy," you did really <laughs> dude, you're not gonna, dude. This shift was crazy. You fucking got it. <laughs> gonna go ahead and just not step there. <laughs> I'm like a square with a, a glowy outlines. That sounds like the alarm stop, the alarm spot. So this is the way I came. But... Ah, okay. Why did that man like <laughs> very like limply chase you? You probably gonna beat him. Yeah, you'll have to excuse me. I'm too busy talking about Ted being a gooner. I didn't read any dialogue that would have uh, helped me and uh, illuminated me on that issue. It's okay. We got this. Let's go do it again. Last few weeks, a couple of my friends have played Lethal Company with Ted, and they were like, bro, he's pretty normal despite his tweets. Real, real, real shame I'll never get that. <laughs> Oh. Can I get some help, guard? Please? Oh, did you all get put in there again? <laughs> I think my favorite part is seemingly he should be like watching to see this happen every time. This might be the silliest like <laughs> RPG dungeon conceit I have ever seen. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay, Jansen threw the magical pearl that made him lose all of his memory. That dude's life is, like, ruined. <laughs> I figure out, is, is, is that, like, is that temporary? Like, will he get it back eventually? I don't know! Because <laughs> that is a... Gongor gives it to him and says, if Kaim starts re getting his memory back, use this. <laughs> Imagine getting hit with pocket sand and suddenly you, like, lose all your memories of your entire life. <laughs> Bet you'd want it. Probably, that way, yeah. That way you can experience Yakuza 6 again for the first time. Ooh. Ooh. 
<laughs> of all things I chose. <laughs> that gave me an actual chill. <laughs> I, I, I don't know an if, actual if, if, chill! I don't know if, if that was the fun of that or if that's just the sickness taking hold. You know what I I would love to replay like a dragon six but have no memories of it, but have memories of like a dragon Gaiden. <laughs> and you're like, don't worry, I'm sure it all makes sense if I play all of six. I'm sure. I'm okay, we... sure they talk about the Daidoji in six. And how fucking <laughs> stupid that I'm sure there's is. I'm, I'm sure you know, this is just a dumb DLC game. This is gonna be the real one. I guess step on this, that's also bad. I stayed away from this spot going, surely it's evil. No. It's just fresh. Running over lighted floor sounds alarm. Hold down B and use the left stick to move quietly. Casey, why does Marcus have some of the best tweets out of, like, any YouTuber? I, I saw that shit. I saw that tweet he did recently, too. Not watching the Dave Chappelle clip. I'm sure it sucks, though. I watched it. It's real bad. Oh, I'm sure it is. Oh, he, dude, it, it's not even a joke. He just tells, like, an anecdote. Uh, he, 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 here, here's, the, here's the anecdote, chat. Uh, for those who aren't aware, Dave Chappelle came back to comedy a few years ago, and for some reason he's decided to make, make his thing, uh shitting on the trans community every single time for like uh, at least a fourth of every single set mm -hmm. this one was i'm a friend with the late norm mcdonald i wanted to go see uh, he invited me to go see jim carrey who was doing a doing a film at the time he's like i'm excited to meet him and in that film uh jim carrey is method acting and trying to be another person the whole time and Dave Chappelle goes, I was so disappointed. I wanted to meet Jim Carrey. And then says, that's how I feel when I meet. <laughs> yeah. Oh. yeah. And yeah, that yeah, is yeah, the conceit like, of it, his bit. There's no joke. There's, there's no there joke. is, there's there no is in fact, a no joke here. It, it's just an anecdotal story followed up by, uh, and that's what I think of this kid. It's, it's, it, there's nothing there. Yeah, there's It's not. really funny how Dave Chappelle retired from comedy so he wouldn't sell out to white conservatives. And then he came back <laughs> to comedy and sold out to white conservatives. And then he's like, you know, the white conservatives, now they're the real ones. Did you know the alarm goes off and you try to talk to the sleeping guard? <laughs> oh, did you all get put in there again? I'm what sorry. I'm sorry. Can you give me back in? It's okay, we unlocked a shortcut. Somewhere. Like, I kicked that ladder down. I actually don't know where the ladder is located on the bottom side. This is like one of the smarter stealth sequences I've ever seen in one of these games, because most stealth sequences do not create shortcuts while you play it. Yeah. Ah, here it is. Wow, that's very convenient. One alarm goes off when people talk to me. Yeah, it's like a dog whistle makes him run away. I, um, so, what, watching you play this game at the same time as I play, like, as I play Alan Wake 1. Yeah, as, as we 360 game our way through the year. It's like, these two are really are the best 7th gen games, probably. <laughs> yeah, they, yeah, there's like some solid, there's some good 7th gen in there mixed in with some of the ones that just, you know, were disappointing or not great. And by 7th gen, I mean, like... I could see myself playing these games on their original hardware kind of yeah. 7th gen. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, like, when 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 people talk about, like, how bad 7th gen is, I don't think they're talking about the quality of most of the games, because, like, as we discussed, that gen does have some very good games. It is, oh, man, you play the shit on the PS3 or a 360, it feels like shit. <laughs> then there's just, you know, some games just ended up not being, not being too good. Sometimes, yeah. sometimes mm -hmm. being a bit disappointing. Like a Mass Effect 3. A Bioshock, a Bioshock Infinite. Bioshock Infinite. 
<laughs> Dude, what, what other games are going to come up when you say game that came out in the 360 era that was kind of a disappointment? My son. Son Sonic 06. Sonic 06, yeah. Versus 13, because they didn't give it to me. Dude, the 360 era is a is what I call the Square Enix holding pattern. Where you're like, mm -hmm. don't worry. Just gotta wait for versus 13. The amount of times I ha I said on forums where I'm like, yeah, we gotta wait for versus 13 to come out so that Kingdom Hearts 3 can start development. Because, <laughs> because most interviews directly said that. He's like working on verses right now, so I can't think about a console Kingdom Hearts game. <laughs> Casey, we need to go see the Minecraft movie. Jack Black has been announced to have joined the cast. This is it. <laughs> Dude, I was already gonna see it because the concept of Jason Momoa in a Minecraft movie sounds like it's gonna be peak fiction. Alright, so so because of that people have like pieced together like the bunch of the announced casting and apply and applied them to characters from Minecraft story mode. Dude, Patton Oswalt was in that. And I'm just sitting here thinking, like, how fucking funny would it be to get a Minecraft story mode movie? <laughs> I'm just imagining Jason Momoa having to punch an Enderman. I hope they have that scene of, of, of the pig dying and it's supposed to be dramatic and it pops into the thing of steak. <laughs> Yo, did you all read Jack Black is gonna be in the Minecraft movie? <laughs> Mid too late, man. You're here on live stream. What's up? <laughs> I fucking I love I, I love live stream so much, dude. I used to listen to like FM talk radio, and someone named Minute Too Late Man would call in just to do that bit where they're like, "I'm here to talk about your last segment that you've moved on from." <laughs> But streams are great. People just do that by accident. Oh, this one's gonna be real bad. No wonder they put a shortcut right there. I thought the game added music for a second. I was like, oh, did the music turn on? No, that was all my fellas, actually. All my fellas. All my fellas. Oh, 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 my fellas. Oh, oh, oh. How you doing? Uh, I'm doing good. That's good. I feel like I finally recovered from New Year's Eve. Uh, oh, that's good. Don't throw up. I, I need to tell you what happened on New Year's Eve when I uh, blackout drunk sort of existed for a little bit. Oh, was this and after I... after the karaoke? No, this is way before. <laughs> this was before the karaoke because I barely even remembered that. I woke up and went, what the fuck? Did I do that? I was sitting in my living room with a dear friend, Nick and we played about five or six matches of Yu-Gi-Oh that all went to three games for about three hours. <sighs> That's good. At, at some that, point, in the middle of that, I think I made you know? Rugrats tweet. Yeah. Yeah, then you made the Rugrats tweet. I had a moment yesterday uh -huh. because I woke up at 2 a.m. and was just rolling through the rest of the day stream was really good. I'm glad I still was able to put out that energy. I, I, I ran a, a Twitter bit with Shibuya where I said, you don't have a clit, you're a guy. And that got yeah, them true. so bad, they had no response. They had no way to bounce off it at all. <laughs> They're like, I'm trying to think of something for this, but I can't. <laughs> well, what is a penis if not a very large clit? That's true. Yeah, it's like the Gumby of clits. And there's your uh, Castle Super Beast title, A Penis is a Gumby, but for clits. Oh. Let's now move on to uh, our oh, next so you segment. Know how we were talking Anything about that the, isn't the, that. Can we, can, we, can we, like, tell Pat that? Or, like, can we, like, offer him titles? Or Nah. <laughs> Wooly is the master of this. I, I tuned master. in and clicked through the podcast Wooly does with Eyepatch Wolf now. Mm. The hard RPG. Uh, where they where they pit things against each other like 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 they'll like bring in things they want the other one to experience and stuff 
And then they did a tournament bracket, and I'm like, oh, this is normal. Like, armored core versus this other thing. Until they hit Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem versus the entire nation of Portugal. <laughs> <laughs> Who won? Uh, I believe the Turtles won. Damn. <laughs> the fucking power scaling. Uh, I believe the reasoning on this, uh, was, uh, one of the songs used in TMNT plays twice. <laughs> and Portugal, while it has a great culture, did not have that song. Um, also, I think I have to, like, you're... run through this really fast, chat. I think that's what they want Maybe. me to do for that. Run. Maybe. You know how we were talking about the Ouya earlier? <laughs> yeah. Here. Ooh, yeah. Remember how we are talking about the Ouya earlier? Well, you knew you Apparently, your conversations, before, while I wasn't in the call, while I was doing the reading segment, were, I want a special bean cannon and the Ouya. Uh, alright, alright, hold on. If, if and and chat, Toothless if, if you, Fushigoro. Those were the uh, three if, if you, pillars. If you scroll up slightly, uh, you see the Twitter header for the official Ouya Twitter account. Uh, this is notable because of the game on the top left corner is a game called Reagan Gorbachev. <laughs> That's one of the games they want to show you is on their system and not uh, Final Fantasy 3 or Sonic 4. <laughs> not not a fan of men's going, Happy Ouya Nero Year, everyone. Oh, yeah, there's Reagan and Gorbachev. Damn. Did, my go my Did that come out? My co hosts have like board of a chair. What are the reviews like? Dude, I think Gorbachev's in that Tetris movie. I think he is. Yeah, I th yeah, yeah, there's like work. there's like a minor scene in there where he is involved in the Tetris art. This part's evil. Hey, Alta. All right, let's take a let's take a look at this. <laughs> oh, come on! Oh my God, Toto! I not I do not wish to see these. <laughs> because they're also in my group chat right now. Oh. She's going with this Tway I summon. With this Twitter I summon. With this Twitter Me top gun. Me fly. <laughs> me drive. The section in here reminds me of pre patch 15. Yeah, it's a little bit like that, but my default speed is still double that of Noctis without the sprint. Kaim has infinite sprint naturally. Noctis has infinite sprint if you know about this one trick the game never tells you about. Yup, you jump a lot in towns. It's faster than running. What? Yeah, there's like that default speed that he does like even in that seaside area very early on. And I noticed that Pat realized that if you jump forward and just mash jump, it's slightly faster than his jog. <laughs> and he just yelled, Oh no! I'm just going to do this now! Dude, you weren't even looking in this direction before your shit went off. What are you doing? I'll throw it this. best. So sorry for all this trouble. Here, <laughs> I'll get you out of here. What did you say to me? Pretty good. And. <laughs> what? <laughs> 
<laughs> what the fuck was that? What was that? <laughs> what was that? I choked on my bit. <laughs> <laughs> I choked on my bit. <laughs> I was, I was gonna post, be so close. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm shooting this bit. No. I, will, I, I do not want to deal with this fucking toothless bit all day, please God. Oh no. I wonder what that Carl, could be. Bob gave me these jeans so you know I'm sad. So <laughs> true, rip to a real one. So What's in Black Panther's hands? Well, oh. I think it's no idea. Looks like a long chicken Burger King. Okay, hold on. Let's litigate this one real quick. What the fuck's uh -huh. a long chicken? You know, the original chicken sandwich from Burger King is just long chicken. You ever seen one of those things? They're freaks. I think they had uh, someone in the company saying that they were going to change it to make it a regular chicken sandwich and then one of the CEOs was just like, the people crave the long chicken. Ah, uh, okay, that's like the Costco hot dog thing where they're like, I will kill myself in front of you if you try to adjust the price of yeah. hot dogs. Here's a picture of the long chicken. Okay. <laughs> if, you, if, you, if you try to, to adjust it, I will... Dude, that is a long time. chicken when you think about it. Hold on. Look, yeah, look, it is look, just an elongated from... chicken patty. Oh. It's fluffed. Here it is from Hamon and Pumba chat. You can also see OBS up there a little bit. That's a long chicken. Yeah, they just stretched that shit out. Oh, hold on. Oh. I bet this is going to be a good message. Whew. I absolutely love The Last of Us. I've loved it since I played the first game, then the sequel was, dare I say, even better. You stoked to be in this here. What do you say, Neil Druckmann? This post has been deleted. <laughs> what the fuck would he be in Last of Us, like, 2? Like, what? This... Uh, that what? um, he'd be the, the, the dude you fight. That punches the kid? <laughs> <laughs> he'd be Man. the guy from the other thing people made edits of. Or they could, like, swap, I think, swap out the ethnicity so he could be that dude that happy brutally destroys their face while they're fighting in, in the burning section. <laughs> Where I went, okay, this is actually way too much visceral, realistic ultraviolence. I, I, I'm sorry. Don't let it happen again. This is almost sad as him begging on his knees for people to choose uh, his movie over John Wick 4. Dude. Yeah, to be fair, the phrasing when I saw it fully was more of that, I like uh, I like both of these movies, so you should see both. And the only time I've ever seen that happen was the was uh, NIS Japan going, you know, honestly, I think all of our games are good, so I think you should pick up DS Gaia 5 along with Bloodborne. <laughs> because they launched right next to each other, and that game proceeded to sell nothing until the Switch version. It sold one copy. That one copy was me. So why do I have a copy on my shelf? You aren't real. Did you... you aren't real. You're Did a Vita you... person. Did you... <laughs> You're like, can you call me a slur instead? The Vita will only be good once they release the, the, the Steamboat Willie open world game. <laughs> Now hear me out again, but louder. <laughs> what if there was an adult 3D reaction <laughs> game? Oh, I think need to be shot. Oh my god. Chad, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I even when it's not looking at me, it it goes off. I don't. I don't uh, know do you want some advice? 
Yeah, yeah, sure, Carl. What's your advice? Uh, don't get caught. Oh, uh, okay, that's good. Can you leave? <laughs> Isn't there a ladder behind those crates? If you mean the ladder I did in the last section, uh, it kind of looks like it loops back. Like, it looks like I went over that way to unlock the shortcut that gets me to this faster, with that, which I've been using. Plus, there's a third ladder. For a while, I managed to get past the first one so that I can maybe think about the second one, but I have since not had that opportunity anymore. Hello, sir. Good to see you. I need to need to sashay past you real quick. I can tell this is one of the last things they're going to have me do because uh, every every rough section in a video game usually puts the cruel thing right at the right at the back. Can you can you move far off the wall? He just start shooting. I didn't get anything you just said uh, besides booting Carl for fun. Oh know what yeah, he's doing. For shooting, shooting the bullet. Carl started streaming Skibbity Toilet, is what Altho said. Oh, did that still not pick up? Yeah, yeah. It, Discord just ate all of it. Thanks, yeah, it just, it just started muffling whenever you tried to describe what it was. You know what? I've actually decided this bit is even too terrible for me. So that's done now. That's good. Yeah, Skibbity Toilet is Aries thing. It is, it is awful. <laughs> it is the worst. Yeah, it's not great. We'll look up and see what this guide on game facts said. It is filled with text. I bet if I type stealth. No, no, no. They they don't write stealth anywhere here. Sneak though. Yeah, there you go. Sneak though. <laughs> Maybe there's a guide on the uh, adventure site. <laughs> Yeah, maybe, maybe James got to work on this one. Any sneakers in chat? No, that's Toys R Us exclusive. Yeah, I wonder if the kick mechanic is, uh, maybe there's something I'm missing up there. I'm now, I'm now reading, reading the guide here, let's see. Uh... There's a soldier sleeping on duty. Go west by sneaking past him. Don't run on the red floor. Turn north. Then operate the lever. Okay, I did do that. We're just gonna we're gonna go this we're gonna go slowly. We're 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 gonna we're gonna follow this to the letter. Get the slot seed from the chest nearby corridor. Go east, climb the ladder to get on the catwalk.
ascend the ladder, walk a bit north, and operate the button. Careful of that orb. All right. Let's see here. It was that shrimp bowl yet, Chad. He's like, oh, you're near a ladder. I can't act. I can't do an alarm now. And I'm like, thank God. Know your place. Chad, the reason the thing we're doing was impossible is because we weren't meant to go that way. I would do it. Instead, I had to know that they have light, uh, lights, uh, buttons. We we're out now. <laughs> when all else fails, uh, read a guide from 2008. Thank you, Split Infinity, who I've seen in numerous GameFAQs guides for RPGs for at least a third of my life. Adventure games. For adventure games. Let's go north. We're good. We're chilling glass. Whoa. Ow. <laughs> the hell of a face. Yeah. Hey, what's the matter? I know I keep saying this, and I know I said this earlier, but your memories are returning. Aren't they? I do not like his voice. Uh, maybe. He's just chilling. You he is also so Sonic much. Adventure 1 Knuckles. What's your problem? Ever since we stopped oh. the magic energy leaking from oh, no. Dad, <laughs> you get that look oh, no. sometimes. Did you get exposed back there? I got no use for the past. Kime! Don't say things like that! It's none of your business. <sighs> hey. <laughs> Great. Yeah. Maybe I was just a little too quick to throw that black pearl. Golly, I gotta <laughs> lighten up. I'm just way too tense. I need to get back to those three girls. <laughs> <laughs> He's still, he's still thinking about the... <laughs> he's still thinking about those three whores. That's crazy. Hey, look. That chest, it has all our stuff in it. Yay. Transformation complete. Jordan. Carl. Yo. Yeah. Uh, while Nick was here, he was playing uh, Fighters the entire time, and I just kept staring at it going, I think your, your newly acquired fighting game autism has rubbed off on me a little, Nick, because I kind of want to play Fighters now. It's dangerous. Yeah, I think it, it, it just got with, uh, with the throwback. Not, not officially, only the beta happened. Oh. Yeah. I do want to play Grand Blue, because I enjoyed the original one of that already, as is. <laughs> I oh, was thinking about Strive. Is there not an upgrade? I don't know if there is. Might, might not be, because they added a bunch of stuff to it. I have some extra credits, so at least it would be a full thing for me. Oh, all the fighters is like fourteen dollars right now. Yeah, that helps. And people will be playing that forever. The the grand blue one uh, isn't that like not full price? What is it? I didn't look at anything about it honestly in terms of like the price point and stuff. So might be news to me. I just I just know the Bridget was falling apart trying to play it. Because, they're, because it plays closer to Street Fighter and she's expecting to air dash out of everything. It, it is it, it is so funny how, like, aside from, like, Eri and Jordan, everyone in my friend group who plays fighting games just apparently does not like how Street Fighter plays. Street Fighter uh, is a bit more restrictive compared to anime fighters where you can just go everywhere on the map like a sociopath. 
It's like how all the anime players got into Street Fighter 6, and what you would see is they were dog shit at approaching and, uh, and any level of neutral gameplay. But they, when they start a combo, they're doing the full 15 minute sequence. Yeah. Effortlessly. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Oh, okay, so chat is saying that there's a $70 bundle for uh, the Grand Prix Fighting game that comes with the entire first season pass. Oh, uh, yeah, lots could be Season it. pass by itself is 50 bucks. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. I should get that. They might add Gojo. Oh, that's cute. You know, it was until Jordan mentioned it that it didn't really occur to me this is an old-ass RPG that makes you do all the actions first. Yeah, no, I... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to think of the last game I played that did that that isn't like a dungeon RPG. That's like kind of old school. I'll tell. Sorry, the alarm brought a dog. I do appreciate the GC meter in this, because it tells me the exact point when uh, the front row enemies are out of health. Dude, this is a good experience. I'll just keep doing it, dude. Don't you worry. For people who didn't see this last time we played, the ring in this is you hold right trigger and try to get both rings to align, and then you get a special effect based on what ring you're holding. Makes the basic attacks have different effects. Not much now, because we're still early, but it'll matter later. Beyond the bonus to damage. Easy. That, that's, what's up? We have very big news on this day. Oh, do we? January 2nd, 2024. It has been announced that Jack Black oh, I has hate been you. cast in the live-action Minecraft movie. 40 minutes too late, man. Welcome to the stream. Aw, oh, man. <laughs> Carl, that, that's even We even, someone did that a minute after we it. talked about it, so man, this is the sequel to someone else earlier. being away. That is unfortunate. But still, I'm fucking, going to see that movie. I got fucking late trick. This sucks. You can't, you are desperate to make new words after, after fucking chump scared worked out. And I'm telling you, what? it's not gonna work out. I he got jump scared only... once and said chump scared like a chump. Oh. I need you to know the only reason I keep saying blank trick is because of the wing of radio TV thing where he gets a monkey trick. Come on. He pulls the monkey out of the bag and then screams at the top of his lungs. Sick, dude. That what the hell is wrong with that, you, brain damage? That that difference in, in damage was insane. Kaim only did like 70, and then Jansen just did like over 200. Yup. Bad news, Mittens is smitten by Jansen. Going, hi Jansen. Block, can't get inside. I I'm glad you were there to tell me that. <laughs> me attempting to open it and not working was my first hit. What's that? You hear that? What? Jensen! That, that's a harp. Yeah. Uh, Queen must be in there, right? I mean, no dude plays a harp. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ignore it. It'll lead to trouble. Hey, I've got a I'm just saying, dude, the main character of behind. Lunar, the Silver Star on Sega CD, I mean, used a harp. My man card. Jesus fucking Christ. But in the <laughs> PS1 version, they changed it to an ocarina. <sighs> I think it's an ocarina in the in the PSP version as well. No oh yeah, everything's based on the PSP one because that added an entirely new dungeon and uh, ending story sequence. Do you know anything about the queen? Well, from a long time ago. Mainville turns in, Mainville turns into like a goo monster in the Sega CD. They just cut that shit out entirely. <laughs> Looks like your own memory. Was Lunar Two? Was that the one where you use EXP to save? The English version? No. Uh, I didn't play much of two, so I can't say. 
if memory the Jansen misogyny is insane. She's someone he's, from the past dude, he's just chilling. Who made me who I am now? <laughs> she smiled when she held out her hand to me, even when stranded in the middle of the ocean, faced by me, a pirate. She wouldn't show any fear. I felt a certain kind of strength and a special kindness from her. The queen could have arrested me for piracy, but instead she invited me to her palace. We talked about a lot of things. Mainly about how the queen's titties are just fucking out, dude. Station. It was so oh. open-minded. <laughs> no, she wasn't just open-minded. Even though we just met, it felt like we'd known each other for years. Our talk seemed full of nostalgia. <laughs> I laughed for the first time in a long time. <laughs> I don't know if she felt the same way, but at any rate, she seemed fascinated by everything I said. Treasure hunting in the Great Eastern Ruins, beating the crap out of pirates who stepped out of line. I covered it all. Tell me about your life. But when I look back at the way she let me keep talking, I think she might have longed to be free just for a moment. What the fuck was that? You zipping up? Yeah, what the what, dude? Jordan, sorry. That was what, scary. What did you what did you do? Did you put like I pull my penis out? out? <laughs> no, my I'm wearing a turtleneck that it, that zips up. A turtleneck? Turtle neck. James Summerton? Yo? Yo? Sorry, I've associated turtlenecks with that guy now. Jordan wouldn't play dries. But you would, Carl. Oh, absolutely. Uh -huh. Only the people I hate, though. Have a chance like this. Sorry, gang. That's why I copy a lot of your tweets, also. Oh. Playable Jansen moment. Dude, <laughs> his run cycle is crazy. Well, Start well. printing. <laughs> this is this is this is how I picture Jordan. Uh, <laughs> Running in his house to get the fucking like garlic bread. Oh, I forgot my coke. Make no for sale. Swine up. <laughs> they got my boy got Swine up. I thought you said swagged up, but not Swine up, the Pokemon. Close, I guess. Yeah. Why are you talking about Swine up? You know. Uh, oh no. Video. You fool. Left our most precious resource and guarded the swag. <laughs> the fucking bender kills me every time. <laughs> what else we got here? <clears throat> My take on Carl. <laughs> Uh, thank you. No. AI Makima. My titties everyone, aren't anywhere if near someone that say, nice. If someone says something unfunny in VC, it's rolled that we will go completely. Oh, this is when we started it. Yeah. <laughs> this is when we started it. And Carl was the first one to get hit by it. <laughs> Sneeze. <laughs> Sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> and then they. No. No. <laughs> Fuck B do. Fuck Nick. Whoa. A 
Oh, wait, Your Highness, please. They got my I'm boy swine up. I swear. Whew. Thank you so much. Uh, please, just don't call the guards yet. I keep thinking about the fucking Professor X and the ostrich tweet. I beg your forgiveness, Your Highness, for the sudden intrusion. <laughs> what? At your service. Have you not seen it? Hold on. What are you... Let's let's litigate this one a bit before like, the fucking cutscene continues. What? Is Professor X and the ostrich. All right, so it's a tweet someone made. Professor X, what's your superpower? Ostrich, I lay big egg. Professor X, X telepathically. telepathically. I could save us money on breakfast. Ostrich, <laughs> egg no for sale. <laughs> Shout out to cheese. Shout out to cheese. Not fair. That shit is impossible to not be funny. It's so good. It's not fair. Egg no for sale. Egg no for sale. <laughs> Thinking about it all fucking day. This joke has been communicated terribly. Yeah, welcome to the fucking show. I am but a simple fool. Drawn here by your oh, Who said that? Your band. Goodbye. The white bow is ordained away. Where did you come from? Any man I would never who do that such yet. an enchanting melody would grow wings. Yeah, she does have visible veins evil. on her tits. They did, in fact, do Land that. Sea, just as long as he found you. Like this. Ah, I would very much like to know your name, Your Highness. Ming. Ming Numara. Ah, such a lovely yeah. name. Single-handedly started my gooner arc. That's unfortunate. Please, feel free to laugh what? at this simple fool. Just seeing your smile has made it worth risking your wrath <laughs> at my some some people goon. Uninvited presence. Is something the matter? I know that. Forgive my impertinence, but even though your smile shines bright, Your Highness, I also see loneliness. Your harp song you were playing earlier feels the same. It's as if it reflects your own heart. My... my heart? When you play, the melody radiates kindness and warmth. But sometimes it sinks into sorrow. That sorrow is what drove me to you and sparked a desire to smooth it away. What is that? I shall Bro, your game is ludicrous. Please, trust me. If you remain here, your heart will only be stained with more sorrow. I'm pretty sure ludicrous is like a guy. My heart. Stained with sorrow. What? Wait, wait, no, this is Bill Cosby. Actually, never mind. Chancel. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized he's making her tired. <laughs> ah, what a woman. <laughs> <laughs> great. Just great. Bro, come on. <laughs> what an amazing fucking scene. Well, they all heard it. <laughs> His run is hilarious. Yo, yo, it's fucking, uh, it's, uh, bisexual Heihachi from Atlanta. <laughs> yes, it is. At, that's an at everyone in chat. Thank you, Ari. Twenty twenty four. May you have Jerry's resilience, Tom's tenacity, nephew's hunger, Spike's dog, and Kramer's lust for life. <laughs> Anything back here? Doesn't seem to be. Okay. I have a uh, vet appointment to take my cat to, so I'll be back later. Oh, okay. Good luck. Uh, oh, oh, hold well, on. I got a message real quick. Message. Yeah, let's see what we got here. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Great. Sick. Bye, everybody. <laughs> That's actually him. Yes. <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> I did not know the meme image was actually him. Yeah, we found the genuine article. Fucking Kakanis. Why is this dude just standing there? Open the door to Her Majesty's room. Immediately. He's listening on the information, and also, I don't think he knows what to do. This is a dead end. That's strange. It doesn't open. Idiots! You open the emergency hatch! Ah! What? <laughs> <laughs> nice turn. Oh. Oh, no, That's you put her in your inventory. It's like that part in I Have No Mouth, but I'm a scream where you just put people in your pocket. <laughs> I forgot you do that. <laughs> I remember that from the Best Friends LP, and they fucking pop the fuck off. Ah, oh, there's the emergency hatch. Well, I'm glad they activated that. Welcome to my steam chamber. Yeah. Get, we get gored out of this shit. There we go. Da -ba -da -ba -da 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 -da. Oh, there. All right. Nice engine room, fellas. Uh oh. Oh my. This does not look good. <laughs> every 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 adventure game got the one person party. Just deal with it. On his Conti victory pose. Jansen Burger. <laughs> and Henry. I'm not sure anyone should eat that. <laughs> After the shit we just saw. I got hit twice, so he got disrupted. Alright, well, that that strat, real, real not smart. Did not do what I was hoping either. So, good job, everybody. Nailed it. He did it. His delivery just now reminded me of Scout. <laughs> I can hear it. Fast chocolates. I'm kind of heel locked right now. Hold up, I can defend. Let's see how that does. Oh, uh, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm like, defense should down damage, right? And they're like, yeah, by 10 points. <laughs> what? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> all, right, all, right, all, right, let's, all right, let's skip a bunch of this shit. Alto, what'd you do? What? Dr. Gay is trending. What'd you do? <laughs> Don't worry about it. I'm about to diagnose you and with some dick. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> Head on over oh? to your CVS pharmacy real quick. Stop associating Jansen with Jerma. What was that? That already happened numerous times last stream. Because one, Mittens is gooning to this guy and has asked four separate times now for Jordan to cosplay 
a character oh. from a JRPG that came out 15 years ago. Yeah, because she's the least normal person I know. Just make sure to heal up. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna top off so that we uh aren't as bad off. Also check his gear, see if I can change a couple of things. Ah, okay, he's topped off now, that's good. Doesn't really matter what I what I put on them necessarily. This shouldn't be too long. Did you ever show Chad his full portrait? Nah, I didn't. But but the only person who really cares is you because you think his head looks funny. <laughs> that seems pretty funny. I'll find it. Oh, sorry, it's mittens. That looks really funny. <laughs> And so how many eggs do you lay on the daily? At bar. Sounds about right, yeah. <laughs> no further questions, go on. Okay. Okay, he just one shot this time. I guess he high rolled on this hit. That's fun. I placed my dance in the chat. Did I get oh. my drop? This man looks like a classical Japanese painting. Uh, yeah, Sakaguchi got the artist for Slam Dunk and Vagabond to do all the character art for this game. All right, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Hmm. I'm gonna just, uh, I'll just place you down here. Hey there, little guy. You lost? Hey there, buddy. How did you do it over here on the buddy bench? Whoa! This bird looks like shit. <laughs> hey, you had to help it out. You had to free some of that steam Ooh. for him. Close I think one. it deserved to die. You're quite kind, that bird looks like. Oh, looks you're like your Okay, this isn't funny. I need to get out you of there. I was never really asleep. <laughs> I pretend to be Ruby by you for a bit. <laughs> I tested you. I sincerely I was awake the entire time well, when you hit my head on the side of the okay? door. Not just now. I am the queen, and I cannot just simply run away with you. But that Kakanis bastard is taking advantage of you. You can't be comfortable surrounded by these lunkheads, can you? Even so, I will not forsake my duties. Your feet will be fine. Just remain here for a little while. Nothing higher will turn to stone. <laughs> Gee, thanks for considering my uh, <laughs> higher parts. <laughs> you finally uh, sound more like uh... yourself. Huh? Such insincerity reflects poorly on your true self. Whew. All that formal speech stuff is making my shoulders stiff anyway. But I'm fired up now. <laughs> like queen. When I get out of this, I'll prove my sincerity to your heart's content. Oh, yeah. You can bet on it. Your Majesty! Ah, God, crap. Oh, this is so unfair. <laughs> Why does he run like that? <laughs> I don't know. He always runs like he's shitting. Oh, God. <laughs> Nick, do not goon for Bot Central Hayashi. Oh. Dude is fucking running down that hallway, crop dust. Oh, you meant Jansen? Time. I'm sorry. A bald dude was right on screen.
Was somebody called the called the bad guy here yesterday? Alto something Jesse Ventura. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like a bunch of His face is killing me. <laughs> Be somebody who My goop magic. <laughs> this is what Rita Repulsa should <laughs> I probably should have done with the buddies. <laughs> Ivan when he oozes. <laughs> she be Ivan on my ooze. I'm Mighty Morphin. <laughs> Dude, those fucking suits in that movie are terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know if you, I don't know if you've seen that movie recently. Uh, yeah, I did to see it for, like, content or something a few years ago, and I just think of the part where Ivan Ooze becomes big, and the, uh, CG they use is so fucking funny. I can't find a high quality of this shit, but these fucking suits they did for, the, like, the 90s movie might be one of the ugliest things ever. <laughs> They're shiny as shit. Damn, her hips really are wide. What the fuck? <laughs> we shall not avert our eyes from our shadowed reflection in still water. She is just shooting babies out. Succumb to apathy. <laughs> they come out on a silly Mother slide. Exists <laughs> so that power may coexist in harmony with peace and tranquility. Yeah, those pants are fucking dog water. Ugh. To show how our power can sow peace, I now release these visitors to our fair city. They have been prisoners. <laughs> I now declare them free. <laughs> oh, you think? Travelers, you are free to go. Me. Me. Travelers. Hi. Thanks to her royal majesty's leniency, you are now free to go. Now, move along. And get the hell out. Royal God dismissed. Better leave before he does the <laughs> fucking wind god fist on you. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna like, hit you like the fucking Stantler. Yes, the uh, the cutscene direction here is a lot of uh, handy cam style stuff. All that trouble to release and uh, split screens. Turn their backs. <laughs> well, I say it's great. I mean, we're free, aren't we? Ah, oh, and it's all thanks to Ming. It bothers me that you speak so casually of the Queen. Is there something you're not telling us, Jansen? <laughs> Did you do something to her? Wait, come on. <laughs> hmm. Um... They even animated that thing where he, like, inflates his cheeks with air. Yeah, uh, I don't know if you noticed, but, like, him walking down the stairs, he just nearly trips and it's never acknowledged. <laughs> <laughs> that rules. Like, that's such a natural thing to animate. Yes.
All right, I unfortunately have to go to work. All right, well, good luck with everything going on there. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Uh, have, have fun with the Lost Odyssey. There you go. Hey, yeah. That's the one. Yeah. Yeah. Is this like Etrian Odyssey? Is it like the same? No. No. Oh, I thought there was like an Odyssey series or something. No, nah, this is just this is just a standalone game the Final Fantasy creator made. That sounds bad. But it doesn't you, seem like it. You oh. can leave now. Oh, oh wait. Well. <laughs> Uh, Mittens, two minutes ago, posted a picture of Jansen that says, hashtag Tuesday vibe. It's so dope. It's so over. It's so fucking over. I think this might have been a mistake. You handled your role well. Yeah. So, my yeah. performance was acceptable? Yes, your highness. We should now be able to achieve <laughs> our objective. Let them loose and follow them to the truth. It is a funny looking face. And what will we gain from this exercise? When we have proof they work for the enemy, we'll lock them up again. They'll give us excellent leverage in negotiations with Ura, and beyond the negotiations, we stand to gain information about Grandstaff. Grandstaff? Ura has built a gigantic magic engine called Grandstaff, and we suspect they're plotting something. Right now, Ura poses a terrible threat to the entire world. A threat? Our intel has confirmed that the tragedy at Wool Highland is connected in some way to Grandstaff. If we continue to allow Ura to run rampant, that tragedy could be repeated again at any time. Hey, Yorin. The authorities in our military have voted unanimously to seize Ura as a preventative measure. You plan to start a war? Yeah, that's why the military drums played. Converted into a battle flagship. <laughs> Could you imagine if every time you said war, you just played the military drums? The entire world. I won't allow it. While your majesty may have <laughs> I'm just imagining Ari walking in the and then stupid music starts playing. Safety measures. In this present magic industrial revolution. Stop saying that. Majesty's isolationist policy is pushing the nation to its limit. National isolation promotes peace. <gasps> this new regime must be created for the sake of world peace. We shall spread your majesty's teachings using our nation's military might. You think military force can avert violence? Would you rather see a media fall on Numara? If that were to happen, the people who so adore you would be reduced to ashes in an instant. Personal space, please. The staff should not be in the hands of those simple-minded fools in Ura. We Numaran should control it. Then we can use it to maintain peace all over the world. Numaran would become the most powerful peace. You're you're having her moan. You're too intense. <laughs> I I I know that's that's a thing that they do in like a lot of Japanese games where they have to keep making like noises and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, it's never like this. The closest. I've ever yeah. felt that just now just is in Final Fantasy 15 when Noctis is in the rock and he's moaning over Arden's monologue. Get in here. Yeah. Now. She hates war so much she passed out. <laughs> Can you moan again? You cut out E couple. <laughs> Ming Numara didn't mute the mic when pissing on FaceTime. Jansen heals Yosha. Cool cat. Seed. Sneed. Got one more of these. These give us permanent skill slots. Have you ever played an RPG where you give, like, those important stat-up items to anyone except the main character? 
Yeah, I usually go for the default, you know. Sora always gets the AP boosts and shit. Yeah. It's like the, the only time I'll ever do that is like when I'm playing Pokemon when my, my starter can't take a calcium because I've already gave it five other calciums. <laughs> it's overloaded on milk. Thank you, Mittens. You say that? Oh, no, never mind. Okay, I looked at the chat. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Yeah, you're like, I get the conceit now. Yeah, I get it. I give defense up to Donald. That's cute. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you know he's gonna be he's gonna be able to do something. You know how a defense is out of three. I hope you're happy. De Devante the type of guy to, to give Donald the fucking like wait no wait. Dude, you're very close to just turning Devante into LeBron James fucking shit up in Dude. video games. Dude. <laughs> yeah. Devante runs a magic build in Nocturne. Okay, I'm raiding every single room now that I've now that they've established I can go into them and they're stuffing them. Hold oh up. yeah, uh Fire Emblem I think is really good about uh trying to give out stat items to other characters except the MC, but I will still give them to the MC. If if my main character by the end of the game isn't moving eight tiles without a horse, I played the game wrong. LeBron James reportedly maxes agility and luck in Digital Devil Saga. That's maybe worse. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, but you, <laughs> you, you barely get hit and you deal a lot of criticals. There's nothing funnier about how he puts his hand in the jar and they don't just give you the item. Then something floats out of it afterward. <laughs> Hold up. I bet I can probe these. Ooh. Robin and Awakening will have more health than the final boss of FB7 by the end of most play. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Goes kind of hard. Hold on. Uh, that reminds me. Uh, I don't give my stat items to Robin in Awakening. I give them to, uh, what was his name? Donald? The, the, uh, the, the villager who has the insanely high stat growth. <laughs> so he just walks up to the final boss and slaps his ass. Absorbs a small amount of enemy MP. Sure. Like the osmosis ring. But Tang with $10, thank you. My favorite middle evolution. Let's, uh... <laughs> Why does Batang hold this money? It doesn't have pockets. Yeah, he keeps dropping it. I think Jansen should get some zinc to improve his special defense. <laughs> Inflicts water damage effective areas widen. Sure, this is my first ultra. Why not? LeBron James reportedly picks a staff at KH2 stage of awakening. <laughs> Not great. Oh yeah, it's this ring. Uh, Aqua Ring Ultra. You're gonna want Osmosis Ring, so now your physical attack matters. You can just steal MP off it. I love that meme so much. He's so bad at every game he plays. Mm-hmm. And you know what? I'd still rather watch him play than uh, Elon Musk playing Elden Ring. Dude. <laughs> That was before people, like, super universally hated him. He's just like, here's my build. I have fucking four weapons on at all times. Four weapons, a really bad stat spread, I think. What, he tried to go for magic, and most of his weapons aren't magic? Yeah, he's an idiot. His and build was so bad. Dude, Vince was, like, going crazy over it. Dude, dude, I remember, uh, what was it, uh, his, his comment was like, uh, I, I will decrease the equip load when, when, I, when, I, when I feel like it. It's like, are you fucking kidding, dude? <laughs> he would be the type of guy to play that game with fat rolls. Yep. Yeah, check it around for stuff. Very important, chat. I got so many materials there for rings.
I think he was trying to run an int build. Instead of... <laughs> there's no intelligence anywhere there. Trying to build an emerald mine build. <laughs> Zack Snyder's Justice League Emerald Edition. <laughs> sorry, sorry, that's what I think of when I think of Emerald now. Put Pokemon Emerald Edition. Go. Got Rayquaza in it. Oh, it has Green Lantern. <laughs> Fuck. What you looking for? Uh, I want to go in here. Off limits to regular customers. Oh. Okay, I guess I can't do any vendor stuff here. He had a bunch of int stuff and high int, but also the worst spirit ashes possible! <laughs> I-I miss the pre-nerf, uh, here. What was it, the, the, uh, Mimic? Oh yeah, mi uh, mimic tier where you just you just kind of floss on it. I really like how I was like, how how am I gonna beat this end game of Elden Ring? And I'm like, all right, let's go get Tish. <laughs> let's go. Let's go get the spirit ashes of the thing that killed fucking Godwin. Because it has that like a death status effect on its hits that makes the health drain. <laughs> <laughs> So it just makes every boss's health start crashing. But it's one of the hardest, like, ever jail fights in the game. Until yeah. you realize what you do is you get on a rock. And then it has issues getting to the rock. And then you hit it a little bit. And then you run around the rock and confuse it. <laughs> <laughs> and eventually I kill it. And I'm like, well, let's max you out. <laughs> I think cheese strats in From Games are some of the funniest shit ever. Because at that point, you're not playing a... Like, you're not being smart, you're, you're just fucking doing a Scooby-Doo chase scene with it. Yeah. Oh, these are like, uh, are these like permanent stat upgrades? Or are these like buff items? I think they're buff items because, wait. Oh, yeah, because they cost MP. Huh, okay. Wait, uh, what was the one that says all barricade? Slightly increases the magical defense of all party members. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, you can only own. Hold on. Let me, let me look in the menu at these. Oh, yeah, okay. It, it, it's like the magic shops in FF5 where you, where you have to buy the magic before you can use it, I believe. Yup. That is what it is. Makes Fuck sense. Thought, imagine stat upgrades that had a rental store like Blockbuster. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. You, you have a light fee on your defense up. <laughs> like, what, how, how do you do that? How, how do you return the defense up? <laughs> that explains the gaps in here now. Okay, yeah, this is this is like classic FF stuff. Now I got now I got stuff like Aqua. Yeah, so we got barricade. Okay, having all barricade good and all shield. So we now have um, we have like pro spread protect spread uh shell shell. I was like, what the fuck is the other one? That that's falling out of my brain today. Uh, okay, there they are. I was like, where are your revives? I need to I need to get those to at least ten. Those in case uh, an enemy has a weakness. Mint powder. Oh, uh, hey chat. Uh, if anyone was um, uh, if anyone wanted to snap the Final Fantasy uh, Pixel uh, collection for Switch, uh, it is apparently restocked at VGP according to Wario sixty four. There you go. People wanted to tap in on that. Strong medicine restores the HP. That's good. Fine. We will want 
nine more of those. Just bring that to ten. All right, we're good. I, I have, like, a roster of items. And we got all the spells we can get at this point. Really crazy. This is the closest thing to um, FF10 we've gotten in a while. Like, even the camera work where it's kind of like they choose the angle. Yeah. Because spinning the camera just allows you to look like this or or zoom in. What was the last big budget game to have fixed camera angles? Yeah, I don't know. I'm good. It was scary. Uh oh. Art. I think it I think it's coming back. Oh. Huh? Huh? Uh, no, 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 no. It's just gonna linger there for for the next Oh, like, that's the seconds. worst one. It's That's okay. It's it's, it's not doing the burn, but I I think we're good. Oh yeah, I guess uh, Luigi's Mansion Three had fixed camera angles. Yeah, but are uh, can you think of any like higher higher budget like adventure games that did this since then? Are the Octopath games high budget? Like I don't know what the budget for those games are. I imagine they're like double A at least. Yeah. Yeah, so I guess those, because they kind of determine what it what it looks like. Oh wait, um, uh, uh the Star Ocean Two remake. Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah, that too. That Star Ocean Two remake is absurdly fucking good. Yep. I'm glad the reason it took them so long was uh, that they were making that. That that was a great. Yeah. That was a great drop. It, it's just now the best version of the game. Yeah, it's, that's awesome. Or um, or, as, or or some say that schwassum. I'm also it's it's kind of silly because they they announced it as an HD 3D game, which I know the title is fucking stupid, but it's like oh it's that, awesome. that means that they they have a um a different thing for like. PS1 styled games, which is exciting. Because mm -hmm. if 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 stuff like Octopath is going to continue to be like like really souped up like Super Nintendo games, I'm really mm -hmm. excited to see them do like a PS1 game. Yeah, make it makes sense that they're like this is the approach when we're doing it like this. What was the point of this area? <laughs> There's nothing here. Uh, if you come back with strength, uh, you could push that boat and Mew will be there. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> it's Schwarbage. Shout out to Batman Beyond, which created the, uh, what was it? Uh, futuristic. <laughs> futuristic slang. Like, that thing is so shway. To which Bruce Wayne responds, it's Schwarbage. Schwarbage. Okay, I have to lock myself inside the tank now. Hmm. I'll just pop in and out for these. On the off chance someone oh, comes I'll, in and tries I'll, to I'll, start a conversation. Yeah, that's fair. Yep. Okay, chat. <clears throat> Let's dive into another one of these dreams. Brother dear... The cry comes from behind as he wades through the post town's crowds. At first, Kaim does not realize that the person is addressing him, and he walks on in to, in search of lodging for the night. But the cry comes again, all but clinging to him. Brother dear, big brother, this is puzzling. He last visited the town 80 years ago. There can't be anyone here who knows him. Wait, big brother, don't go puzzlement begins to take on an eerie edge, but the voice addressing him as Big Brother can only belong to an old woman. Without letting his guard down, he turns slowly. Just as he thought, it is an old woman. Dressed in the clothing of a young girl, the tiny old woman is looking straight at Kime with a bright smile on her face. I think you may have the wrong person, he says, allowing his discomfort to show. No, I don't. 
she says with a big shake of the head and an expanding smile. You're Big Brother Kaim. What? What's wrong, Kaim? Did you forget me? Uh, well, I mean... He can't place her. Even if he were to succeed in doing so, he knows he has no acquaintances in this town. He wonders, could this be a chance re-encounter with someone he once met on the road? But no, he is sure he doesn't recognize her. Strangest of all, why should this woman, who looks old enough to be his grandmother, address him as Big Brother? Don't pretend you don't know who I am, Kaim. You're so mean. She yells at him loudly enough that people in the crowd stop and stare at them. It's not just the fact that she's shouting, of course. People always have to shout to be heard in these crowded streets. That alone would not attract attention. The old woman's voice is different from a normal adult yell. Like the innocent, unrestrained cry of a little girl who knows her whole body. Who throws her whole body into her scream. People turn shocked expressions to the old woman and quickly avert their eyes. Their dismay is understandable. The old woman has her stark white hair tied up with a colorful ribbon and her dress has the same floral pattern and floppy sleeves as a little girl's. Many of the passerby look at the old woman with a mix of sympathy and pity on their faces. Gradually, Kaim begins to comprehend the situation. This old woman has simply lived too long. This is why the past, locked away in her memory, has become realer to her than the reality before her eyes. A middle-aged passerby tugs on Kaim's elbow. If I were you, I would just walk away. Don't get involved with her. There'll be nothing but trouble. It's true, says the wife by his side, nodding. You're a stranger here, so you don't know. But this old woman is senile. You can ignore her. She'll forget everything in five minutes. They may be right, but the fact is this old woman knows Kaim's name. In the little girl part of her mind, she thinks of Kaim as her big brother. He tries probing his distant memories. He spent no more than a few days here so long ago. He got to know very few people, and there can't be any of those left who still remember him. When Kaim goes on standing before the old woman, the nosy middle-aged couple become indignant. You try to be helpful, and what does that get you? Snorts the husband. Let them work it out themselves, adds the wife. Let's just go, which they proceed to do. Winding up her voice for maximum shrillness, the old woman calls out to them as they walk off in a huff. Don't forget me now, you hear? In that instant, Kaim's memory makes the connection. The old woman greets his look of recognition with an expression of joy. You remember me now, she cries. I'm Shushu, it's me, Shushu. He does remember her, a little girl he met in this town 80 years ago. Perhaps five or six years old at the time. She was a precocious little thing whose lack of shyness with strangers came from her being the daughter of an innkeeper. Somewhere along the way, she had probably picked up a phrase she heard someone using, and so whenever a guest would depart after a number of days at the inn, instead of the standard goodbye or thank you, she would see the person off with a smile and a cheery, Don't forget me now, you hear? Only now, when he is suddenly able to see the girl beneath the wrinkles, Kaim must avert his gaze from the old woman's face. What's wrong, big brother? He cannot bring himself to look directly at Shushu's vacant stare. Eighty years have gone by. What can they talk about when a man who never ages meets a little girl from the distant past who's aged too much? Let me through here, please. Sorry. Let me through here, please. Forcing his way through the crowd, the young man rushes up to where Shushu and Kaim are standing. Great-grandmother! How often do I have to ask you not to go out without telling me? After scolding the old woman, he turns to Kaim with an apologetic bow. I'm terribly sorry if she's been a bother to you. She's old and getting senile. I hope you can forgive her. Shushu herself, however, angrily purses her lips and demands to know, What are you talking about? I'm just playing with Big Brother Kaim. What's wrong with that? She peers at the young man and asks, Who are you? The young man turns a sad gaze on Kaim and begins to apologize again. With a pained smile, Kaim stops him. Kaim knows that at times, it can be sadder and more heartbreaking for a life to be prolonged than for it to be cut short. Sad and heartbreaking though life may be, however, no one has the right to trample on it. She just can't seem to get it through her head that she's old. Even if I hold a mirror up to her, she asks, Who's that old lady? The young man, whose name is, uh, Cash, 
that's how I'm going to go for that one. Further explains the situation to Kaim. She might forget, oh, that just went, that, that just automatically played. But really, sir, do you have time for this? Aren't you in a hurry to get somewhere? No, I'm fine. Don't worry. Thanks very much. He smiles for the first time and says, I haven't seen her this happy in ages. The young man seems convinced that his great-grandmother has encountered uh, in Kaim a person who resembles someone she knew as a child. Kaim allows him this. He knows that Cash cannot and need not imagine the existence of a person who never ages. Her health has really deteriorated lately. Whenever she runs a fever, we wonder if this is going to be the end for her and we prepare for the worst. Then she springs right back. Sometimes we joke that her mind is so far gone she's forgotten to die. Kaim sees the young man in profile. Cash has a gentle smile on his face as he speaks of his great-grandmother. No doubt. Some of these just auto-play, in case you're wondering. Squatting in the grass with a fistful of flowers, Shushu answers, That's not true. I made a wreath from yesterday. Then she says to Kaim, Isn't that right, big bro? You wore it in your hair for me, didn't you? Kaim cups his hands around his mouth and calls back to her. I certainly did. It smells so nice. Shushu's face becomes a mass of joyful wrinkles. Overcome with emotion, Cash bows his head. Kaim asks Cash, Are you the one who takes care of her? Uh-huh, me and my wife Cynthia. How about your parents? Or even your grandparents, are they still living? Cash shrugs and says, I'm the only member of my family left alive. His grandparents both died in an epidemic 20 years ago. His father lost his wife in the war that enveloped the area 10 years ago. His mother, Shushu's granddaughter, aged more rapidly than her own mother. And the lamp of her life was snuffed out five years ago. So my great-grandmother has had to keep holding funerals over the years for her children and grandchildren before we noticed. She'd become the oldest person in town. Must be lonely living that way. I'm sure, answers Kaim. Might even be a kindness of the gods to let people fade out mentally when they've lived too long. At least that's how I've come to see it lately. You would think she would feel lonely to be left behind that way, but she's not lonely at all. To live long means you have a lot of memories. Maybe it's not such a bad thing to live in the world of your own memories during the last days of your life. Chushu stands up, her arms filled with flowers. Big Brother Kaim, I'm going to make a floral wreath for you right now. And even if I uh, have any flowers left over, I'll make ones for this other person too. Kaim and Cash look at each other with bewildered smiles. Why are you smiling like that, Shushu asks. Are you two friends now? She opens her wrinkle, uh, ringed eyes wide in surprise, gives the two men a joyful smile, and collapses into the grass. I'm doing, I'm doing quite good. We're just reading through this section. Cash starts to run for a doctor, but Kaim grabs his arm and holds him back, saying, You better stay with her. Ironically, Kaim, who can never truly know what it feels like to age, has been present for that very reason at countless deaths over the years. His experience tells him that Shushu will not recover this time. Shushu is lying on her back where she has fallen, her armlet of flowers now spread over her chest. Her face wears a smile. Wait just a minute, big brother Kaim. I'll make your wreath for you right away. Her mind is still lingering among her memories of the past. Will she stay like this to the very end? Keep fighting, great-grandmother. Don't let go. Cash clings to her hand, tearfully shouting encouragement, but she may not even realize that this is her own great-grandson. It's me, great-grandmother. It's me, Cash. You haven't forgotten me, have you? I bathed you last night. You knew who I was then, didn't you? Cash appeals to her with all of his might, but Shushu, a girlish smile on her lips, is departing for that distant world. I'm going to be a father soon, great-grandmother. Remember? I told you last night, Cynthia has a baby inside. It's going to make you a great, great grandmother. Our family's going to grow. Another person with your flesh and blood. Still smiling, Shushu grasps one of the flowers on her chest in her trembling fingers. She thrusts it toward Cash. And in a voice no more than a whisper, she says, Don't forget me now, you hear? Cash doesn't understand. Indeed, how could he know the little phrase she always used to speak, long before he was born? Kaim put his arm around Cash's shoulder and says, Answer her. I know what you mean, great-grandmother. I won't forget you. I will absolutely never forget you. How could I forget my own great-grandmother? Don't forget me now, you hear? I won't forget you, 
great-great-grandmother. Believe me. I'll always remember you. Don't forget me now, you hear? Chushu closes her eyes and lays her hand on the flowers on her chest as if groping there for something. She seems almost trying to open the door where the memories are sealed. A soft breeze moves over her. The flowers adorning her chest dance in the wind along with the memories. Surely among those memories is the Kaim of 80 years ago. Kaim snatches at one of the petals dancing in the wind and closing in the palm of his hand. Chushu will never open her eyes again. She's left on a journey to a world where there is no past or present. The only ones she has left behind are Kaim, who will go on living forever, and Cash, who is about to welcome a new life into the world. Clinging to her corpse, Cash raises his tear-stained face to look at Kaim. Thank you so much, he said to Kaim the Traveler. Thanks to you, my great-grandmother was so happy to be picking flowers at the very end. Nah, it wasn't thanks to me, Kaim says. He closes his fist and the petal in his hand and says to Cash, I'm sure if she had made a wreath, she would have given it to you, to your sweet new baby. Cash shyly cocks his head and mutters, I hope you're right. But then, smiling through his tears, he declares, I'm sure you are. About that promise you made to her, be good and don't forget her. No, of course not. People go on living as long as they remain in someone's memory. With these words, Kaim begins to walk slowly away. Behind him, he hears Shushu's voice. Don't forget me now, big brother Kaim. You hear? It's the voice of the little girl from 80 years ago, ringing ever clear, sweet and innocent, declaring farewell to the man who will travel forever. Can you imagine a random person going... Yo, what's up? You want to go, you want to go like, uh, you want to go like in and out later? And then suddenly you, you yourself remember a, a traumatic, sad, and poignant moment for about 15 minutes. <laughs> this is the life of Kaim Arganar. <laughs> I'm back. I clocked out. <laughs> Oh, but you forgot to get the milk. Fuck! You guys got milk? Mittens! Oh. Did you squirt real quick? Can I get some squirts in chat? No. Don't fucking say that. We have an emote oh, called squirt! <laughs> there it is. The, icon the iconic boss squirt from Donkey Kong Country 3, Dixie Kong's Double Trouble. I grew up playing the uh, GBA versions of, of the, the Donkey Kong Country games, so I had no idea those games had, like, subtitles until a year later. I tried... I, I was thinking about doing a playthrough of the GBA version. All the new art in it looks so bad, I couldn't. It just kind of looks... It looks like a fan game a little bit, despite Rare developing that. Which one? Just uh, like, all the, of them, or...? Uh, yeah, like the GBA Country ones, especially starting from like two going into three. Where it's like, Wrinkly's no longer in like this house sleeping in like a chair. It's now like, she's in a temple and the sprite doesn't blend in in that at all. Yeah, um, I remember one and two looking good or good for a GBA on the small screen. Yeah. Uh, three, even as a kid, I thought felt incredibly bootleg in, yeah. in, in, in a way. And like, that, that's, that's just an issue I have with three on its own even when i you know grew up and played the super nintendo version because it's like that game aesthetically is radically different from the first two in a way that i don't think really works all that yeah, well yeah yeah it's it's changing its design uh more to what they were developing where it's a bit more cartoony in its presentation yeah people don't like 64 because it's a bit more of a pain to like get anywhere and do stuff but you know that's that's kind of where where some of the negativity on that one comes from bit of a pain in the ass to do everything i will i will forever hate everything that ha at nintendo for the fact that rare after making three said all right we're gonna make a four on ds and then nintendo said no nah, we'll make donkey kong king of swing i've heard king of swing is actually pretty good but that is not what people wanted <laughs> yeah i'm like the developers of the country games were about to do a fucking fourth one on your portable console because xbox was totally cool they're like 
We don't have a portable console. You can literally make Nintendo games for them. We do not have an issue with that. I will not be reading these books because I'm already reading the uh, visual novel dream things. That's more than enough uh, pulling over the stream to read for me. Uh, think of it as an incentive for all of you in chat who want to play this game to... Yeah, see, there console. you go. <laughs> That's the that's the greatest the greatest way to pass off me not wanting to do things is like I'm just giving <laughs> you guys an option to, to have something fresh in your mind for your video game experience. That's why I retweeted Dreams uh guide on emulating this game. They do a good job of incentivizing exploring the cities anyway, because there's numerous things. Yeah. There are numerous things to interact with and find. Like, like y y you could tell this is Sakaguchi coming off of Nine. Yeah. Because uh, Nine had a shitload of things you could interact with and in in find, like, the character coins or, like, a bunch of gill or, like, a card. All yeah. Just, just, it, all, just scattered all over the place. It's basically his opportunity to make another big, more cinematic FF since he didn't really get to do much of that beyond, uh, beyond Nine. Like, you know, FF10 and stuff he didn't really have an involvement yeah. with. So you kind of see, like, if he was there, he would end up doing something. They kind of tries to push push that similar that similar oh, style uh, and look. Uh, yes, if you have an Xbox, you should just cop it. Um, it is twenty five bucks full price now. Um, I think the sale it was on for six bucks. It's over. Yeah, I'd say it's worth. This is a a very quality game. Yeah. And the better Xbox you have, you, you know, the load times get cut. Because again, this uh, this was a 360 game that came on four discs. Oh yeah, like I I I have a lot of shit to talk about um, uh, Microsoft and how they handle a lot of their like big modern stuff. Mm. But aside from like the Call of Duty games. Um, all the back and pack games are f really cheap. Yeah, yeah, it's it's a shame they're just not doing it anymore. Wow, yeah. that's unusual color for a flower. Whoa, no kidding. Girls like Hello, flowers. random children. Hey, uh, mind letting me have one? Ow! Pick <laughs> them. Hey, you little brat. Next time, say that before you hit someone. You got that, kid? Shut up, you old geezer. G geezer? Old? Oh, I'm going home. Did you play these games? <laughs> Nuh-uh. They're just flowers that grow around here. Mom says they're really rare. I'm glad Carl is that, isn't was here for the Rugrats no. voice actor, by the yeah, way. Was, wait a minute. That's what he said. Mom loves these flowers. They never wilt. She says they make people happy, too. Mom feels sorry for him. Hate, hate to give this away in advance, chat. This is a people core character to this game. <laughs> Both of them. There are lots of people out there who would pick a flower if they what knew the fuck was the seventh happen? gen RPG that had the really bad voice acting and the two kids yeah. dancing going dinner, dinner? I, it's, it's, yeah, I think it's either was, Infinite of Discovery. Discovery. I think it's that or Starshin 4. You must be a good person. Either way, it was a tri game. <laughs> um, what's your name? I'm Cook and this is my little brother Mac. There we go, Cook, Cook and Mac. I'm Mac. Gotcha. I'm Seth. Nice to meet you. No, I'm looking through you. My trauma literally happened right over there. <laughs> what? Back then. Back what? Back then. Back when? Check it out. It's those prisoners the Queen just released. Yes, this looks suspicious. What are you characters up to? Hey, stay back! Watch out for the flower! Please. Mm, flowers? Hey, if you want to pick a fight, do it someplace else. Hey, those are tender flora. You know, the ones that'll make you happy. Oh, I heard good things about them. <laughs> Every JRPG got the flowers of significance. Yeah. If I bring her these flowers, getting her in the sack would be a snap. <laughs> Those horses with the wings. What the fuck? Same with that guy. Hey, let me get some of that action. Don't even go there, Jansen. All right. <laughs> hey, 
You can't have them. What's with you, kid? Ah. Out of my way. Ah. Cook, are you okay? <laughs> yeah. Real mature there, picking on a kid. Uh oh. Hey, <laughs> fine. It's enough, losers. The Namaran military has the right to seize anything that grows on Namaran soil, including those flowers. It's just a bunch of flowers. It's silly to pick a fight over something so small. <laughs> <laughs> What's with you? Out of the way, kid. It's no Welcome big deal. I'm just like gonna it. take two or three. No. Hmm. What's with you, kid? I can't hear you. I said no. Whoa. <laughs> I still can't hear you. <laughs> oh, how cute. Hey, check out the tough guy. <laughs> I'm not moving. Oh. Oh. Hey. Oh, crap. Max got some pipes. <laughs> Voice credits for the non Lil character is it sticks from Sonic Boom. Huh. And the main character of my gym partner is a monkey. No. <laughs> yeah. Very heavy American animation on 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 these kid characters. What the You're fuck was the name of that kid? It was just, like something lion, and that's why they sent him to the school. Yes. Cook. Adam Lion. I like that. Good choice of words. L Y O N. Hey, you little brat! That's not how you address a Numaran soldier. Just because you're a kid doesn't mean you can get away with stuff like that. Don't brandish a sword. That kid's fucking ten. I'm guessing the game music fell out for this fight. <laughs> I, I wonder how long your chivalry will last. Bit of a weird back compat bug, but you know, we'll deal. I'll take this over crashing, I guess. As long as as long as the like voice acting and the battle audio is still there, that's fine. Uh, honestly, the VA is probably the most important. We don't need that bug where it was just like that. That was bad. <laughs> Bro, don't rush me. Ow! That's just just rude. Ow. Fuck him up, please. So because we, we uh, talked about earlier, um, and, and, and this is a, uh, a question for you as well, chat. Uh, do, do you prefer when an RPG lets you queue up an entire party's actions, or would you prefer if they came out after you pressed, like, their, their action? That is true, since this is the, this is the version we queue them all up in advance. Oh, no chances, please. Uh-oh, this isn't good. Wish the game would show the turn order when picking actions. Yeah, that'd be nice. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for wiping on here, Chad. Didn't mean to. They they were just a little bit too fierce. I also was not expecting it to be that that difficult. <laughs> Thankfully, they they saved us right here. I'm going to uh, quickly yeah, go. About, I'm, I'm going to, to, to go ahead and just find a save point and reboot, which is thankfully right here. Yeah, I bugged it the whole way. Even this area doesn't have its music anymore. It's a good thing that you bought that magic for like uh, defense up. Oh yeah, you're right. I can, I can, I'll, I'll do some of that stuff. A couple people have the ability to do that too. Yeah, they, they fucking, they sucked me silly just now. All right, hold on, chat. Let me, uh, let me reboot. 
move this here. What if the support's 4x3? Yeah, I wonder if it has that going on. The, uh, they absorb the music for more power. This is not booting properly. Give me a second. Oh. It might, might, might just be, be the machine. Hold up. Xbox, as you know, a, a very expert console. I'm gonna give it a, I'm gonna give it a restart here. I do respect how easy it is to boot games in this compared to, uh, compared to PlayStation. Not to be a James here for a second, but, you know, that part's kind of neat. Oh, yeah. Very easy to just pop in and pop out. That quick resume shit's scary, though. I hate it. I'll, like, <laughs> boot up Sonic Unleashed, and they're like, we've, uh, here, here's where you were at a year and two months ago. <laughs> you were doing this stage. I'm like, dude, that's, stop that. Dude, I think, um, I think Blue Dragon still counts your playtime. Ugh. While it's in that. Uh, so I'm I'm afraid to boot that game back up because the timer might be nine nine nine. Yeah. Bad enough when I played Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth, picked up its sequel, and they're like, "You had data from the other one, so we'll just add the playtime there." And I'm like, "I did not play this thing. I just started for eighty hours." <laughs> That's Hello crazy. Sass. When, when when I started when I started Hackers of Every, I had a uh, hundred forty something hours. So I was scared. I'll, I'll like, oh bet you, you're like, I got every metal. Oh, no, I, I, I didn't do that. I, I just got every Digimon. Uh, were you like my friend PM that uh, got uh, six or seven Megas in Chapter 2? No. <laughs> I, no I good. Until end game. good, you're a little bit less of a sociopath. Oh, no, yeah, no I, I, like, I, I, I think it's fun to, to get really broke at stuff early on. Uh, that's not one of them. Cheese did that. Yes, yeah, sociopath. I said what I said. I wonder how the development of that new uh, Digimon story game they announced a couple years back is going. Here we go. Bop, 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 bop. Yeah, I'm excited to see see the uh, to see that. Did you see that Bandai Namco put out a, a like, a uh, form asking Digimon fans what kind of games they want? Yes, I saw Souls was listed. I saw Souls was on there, and it's like... And I started what, kneeling. Dude. I'm like, hell yeah, dude, you know what I want. Dude, if you let me play... I want to see the Royal Digimon Knights. equivalent of that so bad! Like, okay, there, there are only two ways in which I, I will I will be for that. If you play as one of the Royal Knights, or if you specifically play as Flame Digimon. <laughs> <laughs> the fire of courage. <laughs> the fire of courage with the with the dodge with the shit with the high frames. Yep. Thankfully, the moves like protect even the spread version do not cost two entire turns. Like I was worried. <laughs> this is misogynist. <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on. Uh, Chad just just said like, in the cause of that, you lose an evolution every time you die. That would actually be fucking sick. Yeah. Where you like you you just go back one stage when you die. <laughs> it's a souls like your main character's Leomon. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out this game's an <laughs> these developers are assholes. <laughs> Okay, that protect did actually mean something. They're doing significantly less. Except for Rush! That fucking hurts! Oh my god! Oh, this is like you you having to wait for the bird to not use that fucking AoE. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get I'm getting cooked again. <laughs> I, I didn't know you were real like that, huh? Please excuse me. It's like the first boss, literally. I had to get lucky. Yeah. Yeah, this is, um... 
I can't grind in this area either. It's just like deal. Oh, well, I guess we're done. Whenever it comes back to the party, shows one of them down, I lose my shit. It doesn't help that it's fucking Jansen ass up. There's a Crimson Force. It's kind of ass. Alright, let's look at my options here. But yeah, that's that doesn't matter. We're just going to go ahead and put that on you. We're well, going to go ahead. Uh, beast rings for beasts. Uh, you hit you hit a beast harder. You've already mastered this, so let, let's see. Yeah, holy night, sure. Actually, you already you've already learned. It doesn't matter what I put on you. Actually, you've uh, learned everything. The, what does the novice earrings do again? Uh, it gives you level one black and white magic. Uh, compared to the apprentice, it gives you up to level two. Yeah, really, sorry, really. Sorry. Yeah, there's no real changes here. I didn't find a weapon shop either. Maybe there is one. Let's let's run back just in case. And then someone can tell me there isn't, and then we can run back over here. Oh wait, hold on, chat. Well, do, do do the horses count as beasts? Perhaps. Uh, if that's the case, I will put the beast over the bruiser ring. I, I, I will I will check this right now. What else do we got? Shockwave occasionally neutralizes enemy. GC. That might be good. Ooh, Bruiser Ring Ultra is also available. Nice. Alright, I will give you Bruiser Ultra. Because Bruiser Ultra is just gonna... That's just a better physical now. Ah, here we go. Going to the right actually puts us on the world map. I know you said the Grim Crimson Force is kind of ass, but I am like I am like one or two fights from level. Let's see what we can do. They're like, look, listen to our fucking flute, dude. Here's our definitive world map track. Yeah, this is hell. <laughs> Oh, this is fucking awesome. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's save up, folks. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I got a reply because I was talking about how fucking Lost Odyssey has hands immediately compared to most RPGs, right? And so was like, yeah. I remember this turning me off as a kid. And <laughs> the term, make sure all your party members have poison resistance or the boss will fucking kill you, was not the JRPG I was looking for when I was 11. <laughs> <laughs> dude, dude, I, I found a Reddit post uh, asking for assistance on this fight uh, three months ago. <laughs> That's funny. Hi, Prowl. Uh, Good afternoon. The guy, the guy was struggling at level 19. <laughs> of the first boss? No, on this boss. Oh, on this? Oh, don't worry. Yeah. I know I know what to do. I just need to get a little stronger. I'm like... Uh-oh. <laughs> don't worry. We got this. I've never played White Knight Chronicles. You have to say good morning, 6am. Good morning, honey. Dude, they, they, they need to do like a fucking HD collection for those games. Yeah, they do. Like here with the porting thing, I get the reason they don't port because it's only going to be on Xbox. And it's already on Xbox. Yeah. So maybe a port will fix that that audio bug. But aside from that, we're pretty good. What the? F Ooh, I don't like the bug noises. I don't like the chittering. Uh, you please. I don't think fast. The, the shin beetles. Uh, fuck it. Do flare. We need something that goes off in one turn. Yeah, the presentation's real good. Don't really have anything bad to say about the game at all so far. Crunch. Ah, Rainmaker. Spread poison. Awesome, dude! Wow. At least I can measure how much health this thing has based on its enemy GC. 
There we go. That means that uh, this beetle should have 400 health. Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna have Jansen, like, I guess, flare the bugs next time we fight him. Since he can one Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at this. Everyone says to at least get to level 18 or 19 and, um, cast, uh, just, just the shield and then spam prison with Jansen. Yeah, yeah, that, that seems to be, that seems to be the strat by this point. No problem. Uh, they also recommend not using healing spells and only use herbs, because, uh, you don't have to spend waste cast time on that. Yeah, cast time's a little bit, uh, rough, at least at this point, given, given the damage. Better to just pop an item. Yeah, that rush they do seems to just bypass defenses, because it did a shift ton to me. Here we go. These are gaining a decent chunk of XP. Yeah, yeah. They they they're not too they're not too stingy on this. Oops. Uh does poison care between battles? Because I think your character should poison you. Uh, I don't know if status is retained, but at the very least my health does. Oh no. The squad. Yeah, no, status effects get cured, thankfully. Okay. It's not one of those. I like how you got, you got black and white magic, you know, that that that, that makes sense. Uh, and then spirit magic, that also makes sense. And then composite magic. Let's go, dude. Okay, thankfully these guys don't hurt too bad. So me not healing before this isn't going to look as terrible. Please, God. Hmm. Uh, do, do you have the, the HP critical uh, things equipped to, to both immortal characters? Yeah, they sh they should pop once they're in yellow. Okay. Bro, do not summon more. What is that <laughs> white mage? Items have turn for everything. Thank God. Have you played the, the last remnant? No, I haven't. I was I was entertaining that I would, because the 16 guy was on it, but I just did not. I did not have time. Also, I looked at the gameplay and it didn't look like something I would be into. It, it's it's very. I, I I don't know how to describe it because it's like it's. It's way less complicated than it looks. Ah, <laughs> it's, uh, it's one of those, you know. Yeah, and, it's, yeah it's like how you don't actually need a protractor to play Resonance of Fate. Yeah. <laughs> Funniest looking game I've ever fucking seen. Hold on. No, I have to find it. So, uh, I don't know if you've ever played uh, that game, Resonance of Fate. Yeah. But uh, you, you basically equip attachments to your guns, right? Uh, so uh. you equip like silencers or extended mags or you know, some stuff to, to, to give them uh, sap boosts to make them stronger. Uh, this is what your gun looks like at the end of the game. Sure, let me, let me clear this turn real quick. Chat? Picture of what your gun looks like at endgame. 
That is a handgun with a scope, a mag, and I, a silencer. And I, I don't know if those are other silencers or like extended barrels. It is insane. <laughs> Whatever. It's gonna work. <laughs> it will hit its target, I hope. That game is fucking amazing. Hey, hey, I'm, I'm so glad that I got like a 4K remaster. I'll go back. Yeah. Oh, uh, a thing I just remembered about The Last Runner specifically. Uh, that game kind of punishes grinding. And, but like it, it's not one of those things where it's like it's like oh you're you're like it's not like an intended thing but by, by, by the developers to punish grinding that's just how the, the gameplay system works it's like after a certain number of battles your battle rank goes up and as your battle rank goes up the enemies scale and get stronger and have better equipment but if, if you if you if you battle too many if you grind too too much early on your battle rank goes up way further than you have then you have the the need to get the equipment to survive most battles <laughs> <laughs> it, it is a complete oversight but it's really funny <laughs> That was uh, more than half a level. Ooh. All right, he is out of juice, but it's okay. We got we got mana stuff, I think. <laughs> uh. Yeah, we got <laughs> herb. <laughs> So, uh, my, my, uh, friend Joey, uh, works in, at, in animal shelter. Mm. Um, and he was feeding, uh, this bird, uh, called a kite. Um, you're feeding a dead mouse, because that, that, that's, you know, obviously what, what those plants The artist dead uh, mouse. Yeah. Uh, that, that's what those birds eat. Apparently there was a bunch of children there. <laughs> Joey's explaining how the kite had... Ripped the head, cle like had ripped the mouse clean in half with a bunch of entrails unfurling and dangling in front of a bunch of children. <laughs> Nether Realm presents. <laughs> I feel so bad, but that's so funny. <laughs> You're. <laughs> it ends up looking like the end of the fucking the holiday Halloween special. It's finally friends. Oh. I love that they put a visual energy wall when you hit anything in the back row. <laughs> Game button in chat, they gotta learn sooner or later. I know, I was like, man, that's kind of raw. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> Saying, uh, the moment that happened, every every kid just went, "Ew!" <laughs> it was like a chorus of what he says. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the quick time event, like Squall's Gunblade. Uh, yeah, it's one of the things where you hold down the right trigger and try to get the rings to line up. 
the game has a system where you um you equip rings and each ring just adds a different effect to your um your physical attack this one's a damage up this one applies water damage this one ups crit this one's for hitting beasts for example and they got a bunch of them you can you make here using things that drop I have one that has like a an MP eating thing for our for our mage. When you upgrade them, they increase the rings like range, so you don't have to always hit perfectly. But you do want to because it maximizes whatever the effect is. What is this? Looks like something made by the Eastern tribe. Ah, okay. We need someone with access to spirit magic to really make use of stuff over here. Ah, uh, yeah, I love crystal fragments. Thank you. Valuables. There we go. Oh, I guess I just sell the. Do I sell these, chat? Do I just sell my seeds and shit? Uh, let me look. Name plates and stuff like that. You haven't used any of this shit. I keep picking up Sneeds. Tom's like, I'm gonna kick the shit out of these mushrooms. I need my oh, crystal uh, fragment. Uh, Alright, um... Uh, every 20 seeds uh, you give a specific NPC, you get a reward. Ah, uh, okay. Like agility orb and crackdown. What? <laughs> uh, uh, it's a 7 gen game and I'm collecting things. Oh yeah, no, 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 but I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you weren't ready for the uh, for the reference to agility orbs. I don't think anyone was ready for the reference to fucking crackdown. Yeah, the animation entirely skipped on that, but they gave the sound. It was funny as shit. It's like when I was playing uh, Star Ocean Six when it came out last year, and I'm like, dude, <laughs> dude, they got crackdown orbs in this. <laughs> Gotta use my Duma to fly over there and check this shit out. Okay, that looks like that's a this is like a shortcut or a lift if I had the magic for it, but I do not. It's okay, we'll just keep running in circles so we can get our experience and then we can tap out. I got Saros and Six for twenty bucks, I'm so excited. It's pretty good. Yeah. It's like they're really, it's probably really good. it's probably their best one they did since three. I'd still say it's like a six, but <laughs> we're we're in like new territory here, alright? Yeah, yeah. It, it's not like fantastic, but it, it is certainly a step in the right direction, which I think uh really also i think all the movement and the duma stuff they added to that is like really cool it makes it like pretty unique sad to say stars 2 probably sold more and that's the power of classics yeah that, that's but, uh, the, that's the power of being considered the best game in that series and also having a really high quality remake yeah At the very least, it's been like a—it's been over a year since Star Ocean Six came out, and I haven't heard the tri is close, so I think we survived. <laughs> yeah, because I, I, if I recall correctly, they were hedging all their bets on Valkyrie Elysium and um, and Star Ocean Six. Shit so came out that they that they were in, at a point where they just were barely getting paid anything at the end of Star yeah. Ocean's uh, Six's cycle. It was pretty do or die. <laughs> I, I hope that Star Wars 2 remake did very well for them. Mm -hmm. I believe one of the reasons that it was kind of do or die earnings over there is uh, Star Wars and Amnon Thesis, the mobile game, went down. Yes. And that was one of their big, one of the big things they were using to actually yeah. make money. Oh, they, uh, they, they had a Star Ocean and a Valkyrie profile gotcha game, I think, that both went down. <laughs> yeah, thanks a lot, Joker. It's so funny every time. <laughs> it's funny that we'll, we'll blame Persona 5 and when the reality is like, it's a fucking Star Ocean gotcha game. <laughs> I think I think the, the Love Live Gotcha game did a Persona co collaboration with three, four, and five, and then the next year they closed down as well. <laughs> Dude, that that shit's crazy. Uh, I know the Sorta Online Gotcha game went down the year after their Persona Five collaboration. Oh, game. oh yeah, yeah, I, I know about um, I know about Sorta Online. That's that thing from Tales of Rise. Yeah.
Who do we get for our uh, our DLC super boss for Tales of Arise? Uh, <laughs> Fuck your uh, job. Maybe, maybe we can pick up um, uh, so maybe maybe Kratos from Symphonia. Uh, how about Kirito and Asuna <laughs> from Sword Art Online? <laughs> It's okay. They had um, I forget his name. I forget if his name was like Ishtar or something. They, they got the guy from Zillia Two in there also. Though. The like fucking time guy. You can look that shit up. Kirito is a fucking super boss in Tales of Arise. You can just look that shit up now. I think before like the uh, the big like PSN sale ends, I'll probably pick up Arise. Chronos. That's his name. I should have assumed it's a fucking time. Thing. Oh, so uh, I looked it up. The crystals are for a side quest. Uh, there's a guy in the village uh, that you were just at who's looking for uh -huh. inspiration. And if you uh, find okay. all 19 crystal cards, he'll give you an accessory. <laughs> this fight, I'm not. That's not happening. But it's really. I was really hoping they'd be like something you can sell for for money. And they're like, uh, no, you need exactly 19 of these to achieve anything. <laughs> Here, uh, you get the life, bro uh, the life brooch, which uh, increases your max HP. The SMT gotcha's funny because your demon party could be Bayonetta, Dante, Guts, and McGoose. <laughs> From Ghost. <laughs> I am the greatest. I am the greatest. I I remember when when SMT five uh, was first like showing off again at the Nintendo Direct uh, during, like, the, the E3 season that one year. Mm. A lot of people I knew assumed that as uh, SMT5 was going to have a band of the Super Boss, similar to how they had, like, Dante yeah. <laughs> in Nocturne. And it's like, <laughs> I feel like that's a missed opportunity. That would have been really cool. Yeah, they would foreshadow that she's straight in that. <laughs> it would have been really interesting, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> Wait, no, but this would, this would be the Bayonetta from one, because I think that's the only one Sega owns. <laughs> I forget how the Bayonetta, like, situation works over there. All right, all right, okay, okay all right, all right. G genuine question for chat, because I know it's been a while, but does anyone give a shit about spoilers for that game? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going I'm to be right back, so we'll, we'll feel free to go on. <laughs> no, 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 it runs like shit. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I th all right, so I think the thing that kills me is is, is that the big reveal for Band of the 3 was Band of the 2 and 3 aren't much less sequels and continuations and more like alternate <laughs> universes. <laughs> or some shit. <laughs> I, I don't know why they thought that would be a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when I thought about Bayonetta 3, <laughs> I did not expect it to be the entry in the also we have a multiverse thing that happened throughout the past couple of years. Dude, <laughs> they tried so hard. They tried so hard. <laughs> It's it also, it's not the MCU. Everyone at once had that idea of, what if we tried it? And they all did it at the same time. Yeah. And, which makes it really funny when Invincible did it, and it's like, uh, actually, the, this they did this in, like, 2004. We're adapting yeah, yeah, a 2004 yeah, 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 comic that, book, but people thought yeah, it was like, was they're the, trying to grab onto this multiverse fever. It's like, it's no, that's, like, no, that's the just the next part of that story, actually. Yeah, the, that, that's one of the most important parts of Invincible as a comic. <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah, that's just... That's just what happened over there. I I remember when 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 Bayonetta three was like revealed again, like for real, like not like not <laughs> that one. three fucking... is the conclusion to a story that doesn't exist. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! It's knocking me the fuck out. It's really too bad Camille won't be there to help shepherd the remaining five parts in the nine episode Bayonetta story saga. What? He said he said that Bayonetta he was trying to build up to be a nine was. episode arc. Dude, stop doing that! Yu Suzuki hasn't done that yet. Like, what do you want? 
I will say in his defense, they got that fourth episode, the Cereza game, out pretty fast. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah. And, and, you know, I've heard amazing things about it, and the game does genuinely look re re very good, but it's like, damn. Yeah, finally, <laughs> one person on Earth played it, James, and went, hey, guys, hold up. <laughs> Kamiya got out when the getting was good. His language of uh, his approach didn't match the others makes me think, yeah, they're becoming a service studio. That's that's depressing to watch. Because they made they made that entire other branch to do live service games, and then Babylon's Fall came out, and people were like, "Square forced them to do that. They forced them to make an entire live service studio." <laughs> Clearly, this is about platinum, yeah, baby. I was, I was talking by, about about Baldi and why he left, because because he said that his um uh what he does with games was not matching up with that company anymore so he respectfully uh made yeah, his yeah, exit. He, uh, and must uh, now he, wait what like a year to be allowed to do anything i because, i think he because said of something like yeah, I, I, I think he said something along the lines of the, the, uh, the company's vision just isn't what he wanted to do. anyone think Kamiya kind of looks like joe rogan i don't really see it what like his ball is, is that is that it i feel like his complexion somehow lighter than joe rogan's <laughs> He doesn't look like a toe, so... <laughs> yes, that's it. Alright, I'm, I'm, I'm about to ask a dangerous question for anyone in chat who's played it. Sure. Was, was Babylon's Fall, like, decent <laughs> like, to play? Like, I've, I've heard no one talk about how it plays. At the very least, the bait is it didn't even work. People were doing combos on things, and the health bar just didn't go down. <laughs> oh. Crowley tried to bandwagon that shit, and even they couldn't handle it. Didn't that game end on the fucking Nier Automata the crossover event? <laughs> They were like, season one, near Automata for Babylon's Fall. And I'm like, I genuinely hate you, motherfuckers. I will loudly boo from now on anytime's like, we're crossing over with the one-hit wonder, near Automata. That's what I'm going to be calling that from now on until Yogurtar makes something new. I can't handle it anymore. See, on, on, on one hand, I, I respect Yoko Taro just blatantly being like, I, I don't give a shit, I just want money. I, I, I respect that, but also I would like to see anything else. I respect that when he, like, put out console games. Yeah. Maybe the lowest budget cutscenes I've seen in my life, and I'm a Falcom fan. Oh, yeah. dude, those fucking cutscenes are terrible, because it's like, it's it's stills of a 3D image with this really bad filter to make it look like an oil painting. Oh. Oh, yeah, I do I do remember that. Yeah, they, they like, changed the art style, and it, it, and it just looked like shit. I remember that now. Yeah. I am the greatest. I remember when when they revealed Two uh, B is coming to the Grand Blue Fighting Game. <laughs> I thought that was really funny. <laughs> yeah, I was like, "There's nothing to be excited about." It was in Soul Calibur. I know none of you played it, and that series is dead. But I'm sorry, yeah. that shit happened first. It's like, okay in, in Soul Calibur. It was fine because it's like, oh hey, you know that, that that's new and uh, uh, yeah, and, it, and that, it's a character that, predominantly <laughs> uses weapons. It's like Noctis yeah. getting in Tekken Seven. It, it, I thought it was a, cool. That was a cool thing. Like, it's a better, more, in, like, I would say it's a more interesting crossover choice than fucking Geralt. And I like Geralt, but it's like, you, you, you look at Geralt and with, like, no context to the Witcher, and you just assume he's a Soul Calibur character. Chat. Why does he say that name like that? Oh, that, that is, is it supposed to be, like, like, Is Jay? it not, chat, chat, is it not Geralt? I don't know. I've I, just never heard anyone pronounce it like that, so I don't know if you're right or not. That, that's always be. how it I See, I, I played like 40 hours of Witcher 3 and I don't fucking remember. 
Joseph Anderson hasn't put out his fucking Witcher 3 video that he started making uh, back when the dinosaurs were out, so I don't know how to pronounce that. <laughs> it's happening. If, if you told me it was out now, I would have fucking shit my pants, I'm gonna be honest. I immediately just hit, opened up YouTube going, are you there? It's happening. I'm making a tweet every day for it. You're just trying to summon it. All right? Which I understand. I also need something to be in the background where I do while I do other shit. I think what, what makes the 2B stuff in Grand Blue kind of, like, way more boring um, is... And I, 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 under, I understand why they do this. This happens to, to everything, you know, it happens to, to Cloud, Sora, you know, every character has their iconic weapon, and they will only ever stick to that weapon. But, like... 2B gets, like, gauntlets and, like, greatswords and other weapons, and I- that's not in the fighting game for some reason? Yeah. How's Jansen doing today? I think he's doing alright. How's he doing today? <laughs> okay, if, if- if that's down, yeah, we can totally just go for these guys. Oh. These guys seem to give a lot of EXP. Yeah, I get, like, dirt. I get pretty much nothing from everything else, but these are these are like metal slimes because they can also run. Yeah, even Noct just got all his weapons in Tekken. Yeah, he has like he has like Ender's the use of the spear, and he's got like the yeah, sword cool. that does like a launcher and shit. Yeah. The reason Maximilian played FF15 is because he made and knocked it for Tekken. Is that really the only reason why he played it? <laughs> yeah, because he started playing that, and then he played FF15, and he's like, Yeah, I like this. <laughs> <laughs> he, he went in with the PC uh, Royal Royal Edition, just so I can knock that shit out. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's gotta be really interesting playing 15 from, like, the Royal Edition onwards. <laughs> Not from watch. <laughs> yeah. Stop healing, little bastards. Alright, we got at least one of them dead. That's gonna help. Now the oh, oh, yeah, yeah, all Noctis' functions are now on a French guy for Tekken 8. Dude, he's so fucking cool, though. Oh, dude, 100%. The Tekken newcomers, big, big hits. I don't go here much, but... They're good. And, and the fact that I will be probably buying Tekken 8. I will probably be, be, be Mainly because the, the new Mishima is... Well, I'm going to be honest. I pull my penis out. She... Okay, she is very good. <laughs> <laughs> I pull She's my penis cool. out. <laughs> they, they understood the most important parts in the design. I like purple, and I like evil women. That's about it. So Mittens speaks. Yeah. And, and then when they die, it's like, geez. There's something wrong about KZ thirsting. That feels wrong. Yeah, I, I find thirst posting uh, nowadays to uh, come off a little bit cringe, so I try to do it in small spurts. All sports. Can we get some sports in chat? One time on my private, I posted one of those image things that people do where it's a collage of uh, women that made me worse that are fictional women. And uh, that's when Jordan said, I thought you were asexual. And I'm like, no, I'm just not annoying on Twitter. guys suck so much 12 damage. <laughs> yep. They're like, I'm getting the fuck out of here. When does Tekken 8 come out again? Uh, 28th of this month. Oh, okay, well, I... Yep, it comes out same day as Undernight 2. <laughs> oh, I, I I already knew I wasn't gonna get it out. Yeah, yeah, there. yeah. Oh, there's shit. there's no shot. It's fucking it's bad Same out here. Same day as Yakuza. <laughs> Is that also same day as the Grand Blue Relink? No, no. That's the same day as Persona Three. 
a few days after all of the ones we just mentioned. Wait, but uh, if you pre-order digitally on PSN, you get three days early. Oh, there you go. Which, uh, I, I was gonna get that physical, but then they were like, hey, you get to play three days early. It's like, fucking, all my friends are gonna do that, might as well. Yep. Ow. Fiscal year shit, so dumb. Yeah, people always wonder, why the fuck is all this coming out early? I'm like, because the end of the year for them is at the end of March. I also, I wouldn't be surprised if most of these games coming out were supposed to come out, like, earlier, but it's COVID. Yeah. A lot of things getting disrupted, you know. I imagine Persona 5 Tactical wasn't meant to come out so close to, uh, Persona 3 that no person on Earth gave a shit. Yeah. To, to the degree that people just booted it up, then went, ew, no. That ensured that when I played Persona 5 Tactical on Game Pass, every single achievement was rare. Except for, what, the tutorial one? Yes. After that, every single one of them gave him the fucking diamond. Yeah, we gotta leave. I, I can't get to level fucking 19 in here, because every battle against those things is fucking eight minutes. I have, a, I have a limit on random battles with experience, and it's the point where it's like, uh, fight for eight minutes, you'll get about 10%. I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Oh, shit, when does Unicorn Overlord come out? Is that March? <laughs> no, I think it's earlier than that. Unicorn no. Overlord. Let's see. No, you're good, March 8th. We're okay, good. Okay, cool. Uh, I, I, I prefer that, that collector's edition. Oh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, because I had a whole fucking trading card dude, in it. Dude, 250 sun card game. Like, are, are, you, are you kidding me? With, with, I know, dude, I nowhere? know. I still have the entire set of Persona fucking social link cards. Oh, dude, I wanted those so bad. Where half I, of them I, were on Persona 4 Ultimax and the other half the were other on Persona Q. Q. Yes, I have them. I have all of them. I, I only have the Q ones, I because I, 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 I didn't get all the max. <laughs> I still think it's funny. In March, it starts Unicorn Overlord. And then the thing that made James, James scream. Rise of the Ronin, Princess Peach's Dogma Game, 2. and Dragon's Dogma 2 are all on the same day. <laughs> I forgot that Princess Peach game was even happening at all. Princess Peach Showtime, baby. Like, that game was probably gonna be very good, but holy shit, that, that, that does not exist to me in my head. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh... <sighs> have they shown anything of that, from, aside from, like, the last Direct? The last Direct, yeah. Nintendo does that thing where they'll show you something in a Direct, and then you won't see it again until either the next Direct or it's about to come out, and then they'll, like, do a few tweets in that overview trailer. I forgot, does Nintendo typically do January Directs or is that February? Yeah, they do. Okay. People always people always be talking about them those elusive January directs. Did you know that the Holy world map theme goes into a guitar solo I after the flute? No. <laughs> oh, shit. Oi, Matsu, I get it. <laughs> Dude, prog rock fucking rules. I was about to say, please don't go anywhere until the guitar's over. <laughs> it was basically, it was basically ending, but holy yeah. fucking shit, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> I've never heard the full track before. Holy shit. I like how one of the first replies Mittens gets to the render of fucking... Uh... Of Jansen, his fucking Dynasty Warriors character select be like. That fucking Speaking of directs, guy. I'm at the point where I'm not expecting anything on Prime 4 this year unless a direct uh, announcement explicitly says including more information on Metroid Prime 4. Yeah, probably. Yeah, uh, I would say I would say you'll probably wait until after they put out a YouTube video on a random morning that shows you the next Nintendo console, and then they say we will now uh, be doing a direct specifically about it, where you'll see it there. This is very FF8 city. Yeah, we're just vibing. It's, and it's got those, like, FF10, like, camera angles and moving around and shit.
They're not going to reveal the console in a direct. Yeah, they never do that. That's why I said a YouTube video will come out at random for the new system. I, I know I know the Switch had a big reveal event. Yes. And that, yeah, they yeah that's where we got... What was it? That's where we got Odyssey and SMT5? Yeah, Odyssey, SMT5. Uh, that was the one where Todd Howard went to Egypt to announce Skyrim for Switch. He went to Egypt to fight Dio? I, yeah, I said some shit like that when we first went. Hold on. I need to find the shot of it because it was fucking really funny to me. <laughs> here, here, here it is, chat. I found the shot by Googling. Todd was in Egypt. I do not know why they chose this for him, but they did. That was, uh, <laughs> rest in peace to the Suda51 translator that, that night. Where Suda was just <laughs> going off script saying such fucking bullshit. <laughs> Todd Howard is in, in his stand a little lies by Fleetwood Mac. Okay, yeah, you don't have any other skills I can, like, learn either. Okay. I don't actually remember where the uh, place was. We'll just walk around until I can find it. Are all the stand song titles? Oh, yes. <laughs> well, are all, all the part four stands uh, forward. Yeah, it's yeah, a, like, they're, they're like, we have, they're like, we desperately need to find out the location of Red Hot Chili Pepper. I think my, my, my favorite one is a stand in part three is a fly called Tower of Grey. Part four has a stand that's a grey tower called Superfly. I've um, I've had enough. I know one of my favorite bands has an ending in there. Yeah, Savage Garden. Yeah, that's part four's first ending, where literally the vocalist of Savage Garden went, yeah, I checked that shit out. That's awesome. <laughs> this rules. They have a stand for the Pixies. Do they? Uh, not officially. The localization names are so funny. One of the, one of the characters <laughs> in part five gets fucking Spice Girl as a stand, uh, or I'm sorry, in English, Spicy lady. Spicy lady. Learning that that is not because of copyright, but because the Japanese side no, went, we get the exclusive on stand names is insane. Yeah. For years, I'm like, oh, well, they'll, they'll get like claimed or shit, some shit. Like they can't, they can't call them limp vis, limp biscuit. They have to call them limp biscuit. Or 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 an all star battle, flaccid pancake. <laughs> I was going crazy. That, that, that is real, by the way. That I, I'm not. That's not a joke. In the PS3 original release of All Star Battle, the English translation for Limp Biscuit was Flaccid Pancake. Very much looking forward to seeing if they uh, change Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap to uh, Filthy Acts at a reasonable price. <laughs> that one's really funny because uh, in in the PS3 version of All Star Battle, uh, they even say that nobody knows what D4C stands for. <laughs> <laughs> It's it's really inconsistent too because I think um, I think Johnny and Gyro still have um Tusk and Ballbreaker. In English. Yeah, it's uh, that's inter that's interesting. Watching the Netflix version of Part Five where they write the name of the stand on a wall, and then Jorno's walking up to it and it says Notorious B.I.G. on it, and he's like, "It's Notorious, Notorious Chase,", Chase. <laughs> and I'm like, "Come on!" I can see it! And they're like, that's the TV version of it. They edited it for Blu-rays. <laughs> Alright, let's go that... let's go die to this shit again. Uh there's very few of them, but in All-Star Battle are both part eight characters are unchanged. Like like soft and white is still soft and white. 
and Wonder of You, because it's spelt differently, is still the Wonder of You. I wonder how long your chivalry will last. My dick's small, leave me alone. <laughs> Uh, let's get all shield up. I notice every time they play the equivalent clown music. A little bit, yeah. This is their rowdy rumble. <laughs> Dude, everyone's going after stuff for some reason. What the fuck? It's misogyny. I decided to look up the musical references in JoJo. There are 303. <laughs> Faye, there's a character in part one named Robert <laughs> uh, Robert E.O. Speedwagon. Because <laughs> it's meant to be REO Speedwagon. <laughs> it's so fucking funny, dude. Uh, and then there, there's another character named Tom Petty. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 his, and his allies, Dire and Straits. Oh, the rush is so rough, dude! <laughs> a special attack called Gently Weeps. <laughs> the guard entirely i believe oh what the fall oh, wow yeah their rush seems to just bypass protect oh no i'm not even on protect I'm talking about the the uh the formation <laughs> oh yeah our gc's melting though to be fair yeah. oh fuck As long as you kill one, you should be safe. Yeah, that's what that's what I'm thinking. All right. Okay. And it also didn't go for the really heavy attack, which helps a lot. We're good. We did it, Jansen. Jansen. I knew they weren't ordinary travelers. We'll find out who you really are one of these days. <laughs> Looking. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Faye. Uh. Uh. Yes. Uh. Kanye West reference is real. Uh. In. Uh. In part seven, because uh, the uh, the whole thing of that is a horse race. One of the uh, one of the racers is just named Kanye. As long as they have for nothing, you know. We want to thank you somehow, right, Mac? How about we bring him home? Yes. Home? We go home. Yeah, we don't have much, but we'd love it if you came to our house. That sounds really fun. What's the plan, Kaim? Let's Is that child the fourth member? Oh, come on. Good news. It's members four and five. <laughs> yeah. Day or week, months. Come on. Please. Well, that settles it. 
Why are you in such a rush? You got nothing but time. Gaim. Get to our path, uh, take this straight down until you see the ocean, then turn left. Blue door. For the Palmaporum. I guess in the fact that they're like, you know, two kids, they're related, yeah. I do not believe that they petrify themselves by holding a wall, though. So, so fucking funny. Yeah, in, in this fucking Super Nintendo game, two children kill themselves. <laughs> it's okay, we have no stakes at FF4. <laughs> Oh, hold on. Give me. Seed. Or like, sack a Gucci. Be nice, you got it. loves oil. Ah, <laughs> uh, the, uh, this, the, this is the thing you give the seeds to. Ah, okay, I don't have enough, though. I need, like, 20. Yeah, it's every 20. Uh, except for the last one, which is 19, because there's only 99 seeds in the game. <laughs> God. Alright, I'll come back when I have 20. Alright. Uh, th thankfully, from from what I re uh, recall, uh, n none of them are, like, permanently missable. Like, you can miss them in areas, but they'll always uh, be in, like, an item shop that you, you can uh, auction for later on. Okay. Hey, Mom. Mom, we're home. Mom, we brought some guests. Is she sick? Looks no, like she's it. tired. <laughs> Good afternoon. Uh, hey there. Yeah, one of the kids is Phil and Lil. Or, these or people Lil, are rather. from Ura. They protected the tender flora from these stupid soldiers, didn't they? The flowers. What's wrong, Mom? The flowers. They let me see you one more time. together oh, father father what i uh, uh, surprise father. those are my grandchildren Miram, is that you Jesse Ventura. <laughs> oh my god, he does look like Jesse Ventura. Yeah, someone dropped that shit early on in the first stream, and now I'm ruined. Lyrum. They put the pruders for that uh, the, uh, that new um, uh, mana game. That's crazy. My child's dying. <laughs> 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 I'm so glad you interrupted, actually, because I really wanted to say some shit like that. I can't get over Gungor's fade. It makes him way funnier. You survived. Kaim, you... Your memories. I like that someone in the chat had to look up Jesse Ventura. <laughs> yeah, man is better than that kid. 
Well, that kid's an adult what now. She's it? dying now. Why are you looking at me? Gungora. Why does Jesse Ventura like, still decide to have hair? Just, just fucking cut your losses at that point. <laughs> Bro, just give up. Just go home. <laughs> I've missed you so much. I'm so sorry. I couldn't save you myself. Is mom? I don't know. I haven't seen her since. Sarah. I have to find her. She doesn't even know you're alive. I don't have much time. Cook back. Come here. Listen, both of you. Kaim here is my father. I know he looks very young, but he is your grandfather. The one I've told you so much about. Your dear, dear treasures. I've been able to hold on this long because been here. Mom? Father. Take care of them. Please. Of course. Father. There's something I've always wanted to tell you. I know. Clear him! Mom! Mom! I'm glad. So very glad. I can see you once more. Bring Sarah here, I swear. Hang on, Lyrum. Mom! Mom! Mom, no! No! Wake up! Imagine making a window like that. You can't even, like, see shit. A cool fucking shot. <laughs> oh, yeah. What an awesome fucking shot. <laughs> Who did this? <laughs> <Why> is, <laughs> yeah, I know. Is, the why? direction on it is insane. By the way, plays this guy now. <laughs> why is probably surprised this game has direction? <laughs> You need to, like, understand, unless it's the top shelf, like, video game JRPG, our standards are, like, way lower on, like, really good production value and, like, cutscene direction. I also understand. I kind of forgot. This was, like, a triple-A fucking super, super RPG. Father, if only oh, I had a fraction of your strength. Adventure game. <laughs> there we go. There was still so much I needed to learn from you. I depended on your guidance, even when you scolded me for my weakness. Father! Like, the fact that after that death, you cut to this guy just so you can see him, like, reflecting on his dead dad. 
Uh-oh, it's the goo thing that, that Jesse Ventura made. Uh oh. Uh. Okay. <laughs> In case we were wondering if uh, this guy would be playable, yes. Stay back. Look at this rhinestone armor. Yup. Let's see. We got lullaby for sleep. Award medal raises the abilities of a party member. Inflicts damage to the enemy front row and reduces DC. And then a powerful. That, that, that's a really cute way of giving out a buff. Just, you give someone an award medal and they're so, like, excited about it, they do better. <laughs> yeah. Not the Mudman. Better brace yourself. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, he didn't seem as, you know, as useless as I would have thought. Look at him go. This victory's food for the soul. Oh, he's level 25. <sighs> Quite useless, goddammit. <laughs> he's tired, he might collapse at any moment. Oh god, here he comes. Oh, it's this guy. You fought rather well. I'd expect nothing less of you. You were watching. Why didn't you help me? That looks like Ron well, I didn't expect a frail puppet like that to best someone of your blood. I sent it simply to test you. Huh? Do you understand what I'm saying? What? That puppet was one of your pawns? Why would you do something like that to me? Because I do not wish to see the throne restored. The throne restored? Wait, was the poison soup you're doing? Chairman, answer me! Did <laughs> <laughs> <Can> we cook that? <laughs> that yeah, that, that was awesome! Of an incompetent ruler! The sick thumbnail someone said. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, well, all we can do is inquire about Roxy in here. That's so cool. <laughs> That's why you tried to kill me. As long as a member of the royal family exists, dissidents will try to restore the monarchy. The royal bloodline must be extinguished. Just by like being alive, to <laughs> give those dissidents hope. <laughs> why does Tolton sound like the adoring fan? <laughs> 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 Remember when they brought that back out for Starfield and then no one mentioned it again? You want to know the scariest shit I saw? Huh. Um, because Jordan asked about that. It's like, yeah, okay, well, like, uh, what's up with the adoring fan in Starfield? Someone said, oh, yeah, that's only the second most shallow party member in that game, and I fucking, my soul crumbled. How do you make a party member more shallow than the adoring fan? One of them has a cowboy hat. Because he's a former deputy in space. Anyway, I got nothing for Tolton's V8. This is all he's done on Behind the Voice Actors. This is madness. <laughs> he's pretty good at it, honestly. Yeah. Alright, yeah. There's, there's nothing's gonna convince him. Let's go for power hit. I see no other way than to fight. Forgive me, Chairman. <laughs> this plan from Gungor is actually quite good. Because you know that this is all fake, because you saw him make the mud dudes an hour ago. Yeah. The Fed's trying to rip off Prim Slim, yes. Whoa, oh, he's super dead! What have I done? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I came as soon as I could! <laughs> oh, crazy! Oh, I am too late. <sighs> he's... he's dead? The 
the voice director for this I did no Death Stranding and Dragon's Dog Fight. Really? I know. I know everything. All right, let's deal with this Direction in this is quite good. Please, don't panic. Also, being entirely designed for the English has helped it out quite a bit. Roxanne visited my manor earlier tonight. He spoke enthusiastically of his plans to prevent the restoration of the throne, to establish his own influence and such. To achieve those ends, he said the first thing that had to be done was to ensure your highness's death. I sensed peril, and although I am under house arrest, I escaped my incarceration and came as soon as I could. But I was still too late. I would never have expected the chairman to try to kill you, even as deluded as he was. Kongora. Chairman Roxian died in an accident. <laughs> you always come when I'm in danger. <laughs> you are the only one I can rely He's like, upon. Here's how we will handle it. Your Majesty, this. I believe your late father watches over you and sent me to your aid. Father. Yeah, Gungor has done some stuff since since this. He was dead man in Death Stranding. Let us go now. That's the one that's just Guillermo del Toro. <laughs> Your Highness will not be suspected. I love Kojima names so fucking much, dude. Uh, what would kill Mins if they were here? Th this dude is the uh, voice of the Big Cheese Mendez from original Resident Evil 4. Remember last room when we discussed Hot Coldman? I don't want to discuss that one any further. <laughs> <laughs> I was just asking. He was also in All Dogs Go to Heaven 2 as Charlie B. Barkin. I feel like I got hit with a fucking combo there. What the? First of yeah. all, when did they make a second one? Uh, in 1996. Okay. Uh, second of all, uh, they, <laughs> they, they also made a third one that was holiday themed. What the fuck? And, anyway, here's what actually happened to Roxy. <laughs> Dude! Dude, I'm in my office! Why is there a cobra? I'm just gonna leave! Help me, plant! Why'd he let himself get cornered like this? He's he's going into shock. Suspiciously, Roxy-shaped stomach. Dude, I was really hoping. I was so hoping. I was really hoping it too. <laughs> Just <laughs> Roxy-shaped lump in its tummy. But yeah, of course he killed first so that he could, you know, <sighs> set this whole bit up. Drink this. It will calm you a bit. I put crack in it. R right. Oh, it's worth just a crack on him. Let's go. What should I do? I've... I've killed... I've killed a man! Perhaps your memory is a bit muddled. It was an accident. Chairman Roxian passed away due to unfortunate circumstances. <laughs> due to the snake-related incidents. <laughs> the chairman fell prey to a sudden illness. It was beyond the doctor's abilities to save him. Leave everything to me. I will announce the chairman's sad demise to the people. No one else will be hurt. Since he's, no one will since he's the one that put me in house arrest and he's dead, and the, the ankle bracelet has been removed. Shall be preserved. Consider this. If our nation lost both the chairman and your highness, it would plunge into chaos. If that were to happen, Goza would undoubtedly take advantage of our weakness. And invade. Yes. Goats of wood. Remember, they have plotted against Kent and wore down Ura during the recent war. If Ura were to falter now, it would be an invitation for Goza to invade. W what should I do? There is only one thing your highness must do, and that is to protect Ura. Me? Yes, your highness. Like your father, 
You must lead your people with confidence Check out my fade. It is your solemn <laughs> duty to overcome. <laughs> this is like me shot for it, dude. Dude, he's the type that of guy to, to like go to a Dominican barber and kiss him. <laughs> <laughs> Will you stand by me? Always, your highness. If it weren't for you, Gongora, I don't know what I would do. You sell yourself short. You are an able administrator, and you will one day be a fine king. Now then, today you must rest. Beginning tomorrow, you will be a very busy king. We will restore the monarchy now. Kaim Argonar. I will take you to my barber. Forward, you are my servant. Give me a sign of your fealty. Fiend of evil. Yeah. Even before the evil music, you knew that dude Welcome was going to be here. evil as soon as he introduced himself going, Yeah, Kime's immortal because I put a spell on him. I also made it so he has no memories. <laughs> If Gungora wiped out our I made memories, a robot that screams, but why? Up to something. <laughs> so he took our memories instead of taking our lives. By taking away what was most precious to us, he destroyed our hearts and reduced us to empty shells. If he's willing to go that far, what he's after must be this world. The world itself. Yes. Ridiculous. Yeah, they don't really go for a twist villain thing with him. Instead, they Me, give you numerous cutscenes showing how fun it is to I watch him plan. Two others. One of them is <laughs> Having Sarah. fun is it hard with the library card? The one is Maine, Dude, the Arthur? Queen Hell yeah. Numara. Does she remember? remember the finale of Arthur where they age him up and he looks like a podcaster? When, we released, we only got a glimpse of her face. when did they end Arthur? <laughs> I'm going to look. All right, we're pausing the stream real quick. Hold on, let me pull it up. Uh, 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 okay, uh, okay, all right. Arthur Hold finale. On. Arthur, I think, will get me exactly what I'm when, looking for wait, here. Can, can, can I can now? I, now, I, when I, I say for this? when I say what Arthur looks like a podcaster, now you may go, that's not real. Look at this guy. Oh, Jordan. I know, right? Fucking crazy. He does. He fucking does. Why? No one's even crazier. DW grows up to be a cop. <laughs> oh, that makes sense. That's not crazy. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm like, <laughs> someone tried to say a thing like cops on average have lower grade point averages uh, in America. And then they reference when she gets like a D on one test. Arthur punches her once and she suddenly feels like she needs to become a cop so she can punch people going forward. What a cunt. Yeah, I know, right? It was crazy. But yeah, they ended it by just doing a time skip and closing the whole shit out. I think that was the same season that had gay rat wedding. Anyway. We can... <laughs> what? Oh, oh, their te their teacher's a rat and he's gay, and then they did a gay wedding episode. I don't... And, and then people, like, transposed it onto the Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood eye catches and called it Gay Rat Wedding. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Dude, I, I have to keep... Them Dude, up I'm, so I'm sorry, you're not up in your lore on cartoons that aired on PBS for the past 30 years. <laughs> I, feel, I haven't watched Arthur since I was uh, six years old. <laughs> Similarly, in the same spot, I think I, I think I went up to like nine or ten because we didn't have cable, and I'm like, what else am I gonna watch in my room? I got PBS and I got Fox and I got WB. Miss you, WB. All right, let's Sarah. go. Any ideas where to start? In my memories. That is true. The way you feel about people is different from memories. Feelings of love become a huge sense of loss when your memories are sealed. Those you've loved remain in your heart. You'll be able to meet her again. I'm sure. I've stumbled upon my daughter's death twice now. The first time she died, my heart was filled with despair. The second time she died, though, it wasn't despair that filled my heart. It was hope. 
Could you imagine being the guy that's like, yeah, the uh, first time my daughter died was, was kind of bad, but the second time it was kind of worse? <laughs> we have all the time in the world. That's the Fuck hope that I live dude. for. Thank you, Renault. There's Gay Rat Wedding. Help me to live again. Ah, <sighs> young and happy ever after. Kai, if the send off tomorrow is too hard for you to bear. <laughs> no. <laughs> dude has bugged away. them. <laughs> It's my duty as her father. Was there a show on PBS called like Rough Rough Man or something like that? Probably. Okay. Check out funeral it... director Melvi with their fucking like mask and fucking dude, dude that, that's, a, that's a fucking Monster Hunter incense clave set. <laughs> Miss Seth contacted me. With I this set, you get a Bay Window 5. Simple. Where's Mom going? She will return to Mother Ocean, who brought us to this land long ago. Even though her body goes to the sea, you will still have your spiritual bond with her. Spiritual bonds? Yes. Your souls as mother and son will always be connected. Even yes, have you ever heard of Samsara? These bonds are eternal. What's kind of tough about, like, describing this game and how, like, really, like, expensive it looks and, like, fleshed out is we don't get this often. To give Miss we don't get a proper platform paid-for RPG. Where it's like, this is the this is a second-party big thing. Like, Sony quit that sh we have it's stuff like Legend of Dragoon and good. stuff like that. Oh God, yeah. Well, are like that are like some contemporaries of what Lost Odyssey is. To light the send -off flame. I gotta play that. I, I they put that on I PS Plus. I got really excited because I heard good things about it. Basically, I need life. to tap in because the battle director of Mario RPG went on to do that. Really? Yeah. Then oh you shit. Need to take care of the torches, please. I I gotta find out what what about whatever that dude's name is. Dart. Yeah, <laughs> dude, is the fun I, all I know is he was apparently a, a DLC character planned for PlayStation uh, All Star Battle Royale. Yeah, but that the, game the, bombed yeah. so bad they canceled it. Yeah, yeah, fucked up. They just really needed to get in Raiden from Metal Gear Rising and DMC Dante. Sir, no, not darts. Dart. Me later. And uh, and 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 Cat from Gravity Rush. <laughs> I mean, that's a PlayStation character. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> It's not like fucking Big Daddy from Bioshock, a, yeah, a game that, that didn't, was... come, didn't, didn't come out on PS3 immediately. Oh yeah, it didn't. <laughs> yeah, it was like Mass Effect where they held that shit. Uh, anyway, for this section, to show that this is a JRPG that just likes to vibe, uh, we, we now just have to collect funeral arrangements. <laughs> Around the that entire zone. We need ten of those white flowers. This game, this game, uh... Game has, a. Uh, it does not feel like it needs to rush toward anything. It wants to dwell on certain moments like this. This game is the real spirits within. <laughs> Yeah, because it, it's like, what, you're almost 10 hours in, and, like, the main plot is, like, hasn't really kicked in all that much? Yeah, it's been mostly, we we figure, we figured out, like, uh, some of our memories have returned. We've assembled some party members a little bit. But you have no idea what Gongor is actually planning. Aside from, uh, getting his own figurehead in the form of Tolton, I believe his name is. Well, this is Gongor's endgame. We just don't know. <laughs> it's the fucking, it's the fucking FF7 Rebirth first trailer. What is Sephiroth's yeah. intentions? <laughs> what is Gagara's endgame? We just don't know him. Yeah. Your run is so impressive, kid. Right, I gotta try and... Really keep my eyes peeled for the white diamonds. Chat, if you see me pass any of them, let me know. This is how Rig uh, runs. Yeah. 
but still shorter than this. Oh, obviously, yeah. Yeah. And then she's in chat. <laughs> she's a loyal viewer. I do run like that. Fuck you. I. She's so small, it's funny. Yeah, I know. I'm packed. Height mogged by dogs. Dude, I, I, I could fit her in my front pocket. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. This is awesome. <laughs> Animorphs. <laughs> the third one is so incredible. Dude. <laughs> We're making memes out of fucking Lost Odyssey in 2024. <laughs> Thank you for Gongorbra. <laughs> oh, okay, good. There are more over here. Five out of ten. Hold the zones. I hope he gets ripped apart by a crow like he would in the book. What? Animorphs. I, I've, I've never read one of them. I just looked at the covers. The yeah, Animorphs supposed to be like a bunch of normal kids meet like an alien. And they're like, they got to protect the alien. And then they get like animal powers. And they have to like run from the government or something. I didn't actually read much of those. Again, I was, I was too busy. A goosebumps, baby. Uh, I... I, I... The, the book series I was really into as a kid was The Magic Treehouse. Ah. Oh. Uh, to the point where, uh, you know how bad it's schools would have, like, those, like, scholastic book yeah, catalogs like scholastic... that you would order? Yes, yes. Um, one of them was a complete collection of them, and I asked my mom for them, and I read all of them within a week. <laughs> Big reader. It, it was, dude, I, I used to read books all the time, and now I don't know how to read <laughs> I, I, I don't know if that's just me becoming <laughs> stupid or if that's the weed. Like, I can read. It's just, I, you know, it just never really comes up because, you know, I'm doing this shit all the time and whatever. Like when like when Reggie's biography came out, I, like, burned through that in, like, a couple of days. I got about halfway through Masters of Doom. I need to go back to that. Oh, I've heard good things about that. I I, I need to get... I think there's a sequel of that or, like, another book about Yeah, Doom yeah, an like another that. one that's, like, about id-related stuff I saw came out. I think that second one had a really cool name, but I don't remember what, what it was. It's bothering me. Alright, I'm missing one flower, so this is about to become catastrophic. Um, I remember as a kid, I read so many books that I, I, I got that, that free, uh, Barcelona Pan Pizza from Pizza Hut. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that shit. Yeah. Uh, the, the, the week after I got that, the Pizza Hut closed down. <laughs> So I couldn't redeem it. We live in a society. If that happened to me as a child, I'd just start fucking crying. Like like my parents would see and they were like, okay, I guess we have to fucking get the pizza because this is this is catastrophic. Well, I I, I don't I don't recall ever wanting to redeem that because I, I didn't really like Pizza Hut as a kid. So it's uh, like it wasn't yeah. too bad, but uh, I, I do know after that my parents were like, "Okay, here, we'll, let, let's let's go get um, uh, this local place. It's called Romeo's. Uh, fucking fantastic pizza for the yeah. past fucking like twenty years." <laughs> yeah, I, I I used to frequent a my my mom would take me to this really nice Italian place in more central Florida called like Napoli's. I used to get oh. like a I used to get like a really strong ziti over there. Um. But yeah, you reminded me. I hit the honor roll, and I think we got into that program that they put commercials for, where if you uh, if you send your report card and present it to a Chuck E. Cheese, you just get like a free thing. <laughs> oh my god, dude! I remember. So like, I for the entirety of first grade, second grade, third grade, 
in me. I want to say fourth grade, if not most of it. I got honor roll every margin period, and then fifth grade happened, and then I just stopped working as a person. I don't <laughs> know, like, like, genuinely, I don't know how to describe it other than. I thought like the happened. idea that you peaked in fourth grade. No, okay, okay, I like not even that. It was like I I would make honor roll in every marking period, um, and then fifth grade happens, and then I don't know what it was. I I shit just started hard. getting hard. <laughs> yeah, no, no, it wasn't hard. It, it, it was just I I just stopped doing my work. And I don't know why I started stopped doing that. It, I, I was I was one of those kids who um. Uh, who who didn't do their homework would always get a hundred on tests, so I passed up on that alone. Ah, uh, okay. But yeah, Chad, this is a this is a multi collectible thing. You may have noticed all the white branches. We now must collect ten of those for the torches. I miss Scholastic Book Fairs. <laughs> I just started thinking about them. Yeah, dude, it was crazy. They're like, hey, do you want to pick a bone? Dude, uh, one of mine had the first volume of the Kingdom Hearts 2 manga. Oh man, that's cra that, that's crazy. Yeah, I didn't that have was any my of that first, near me. That was my first exposure to KH2, because I didn't have the Oof. game at that point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, generationally, I didn't, I didn't end up having that, but, uh, yeah, that's sick. I, I remember p p uh, picking up that volume, um... Because I, I I saw Donald and Goofy on it. I'm like, oh, you know the, the uh, uh, Disney. I'm 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 a kid. I, I I love Disney. I do not think they are even in that volume because that volume is the entire uh, Roxas stuff in Twilight Town. <laughs> oh yeah. I reread Bone last year. Bone is awesome. Fuck Netflix. Yeah, Netflix ended up canceling the animated Bone thing. What? Yeah, they were doing a Bone cartoon thing, and that was one of the things that got canceled when they canceled like a shit ton of stuff. We tend to forget about that because it was slightly less evil than everything David Zosloff has done to WB. Yeah. Also, they seem to have stabilized because they've also been putting out other good animation stuff. This was like a few years ago by this point, I believe. Because I remember people were going, yeah, yeah, that means they'll probably cancel Castlevania and it's gotten like two more seasons since then. <laughs> it's gotten two, two more seasons in a sequel series. Mm hmm The Ku Klux Klan was not a fan. I I, I have the I have that video of Markiplier being like the Ku Klux Klan in my bookmarks and it's the funniest thing every time I scroll. <laughs> every time I go on Twitter to see what people think about Annette being black now. But yeah, they've been putting out other stuff, so it's, uh, I, I feel like of the, of the very streamers that put on, like, new originals and stuff, Netflix is probably the peak for me. One Piece was yeah. really good. I uh, heard nothing but praise for Pokemon Concierge, which I'm going to see eventually. I was just too tired yesterday to do it. Edge Runners was good. Uh, Scott Pilgrim Takes Off was great. And that's just talking about animation stuff. But then they also put out movies you've never heard of and will never watch. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to watch uh, Pokemon Concierge um, tonight because I, I initially didn't have work till like the afternoon tomorrow. Uh, my manager comes in this morning as I'm fucking like <laughs> exhausted being like, hey, uh, oh the, 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 per the, the, the morning person who called the, uh, is sick. Can you cover for her tomorrow? And I, I just went, sure. It's, it's always going to be. Uh, inflicts significant damage on mechanical. I, you know what? If you're giving me access to it now, I'm going to just grab this. One of those where I'm probably going to need an edge on something. But we'll make the ring for that. All right. Let's see if they want me to do anything else. Everything is prepared for Mr. Okay. Okay. Send-off. I got I, I to fucking learn to say no to my job. To yeah, I know. It, it's... Farewell. It's it's this thing where it's like, I, I don't know how to say no to them, but also they fucking suck. So it's like, I, I, I don't know who's at fault here. <laughs> yeah. I don't see Mac around. He said he had some place to go, and, and then he ran off. Are you worried? Mac has a lot of guts. He'll be fine. Um... I'm your grandfather. You can call me Grandpa. Even though you're younger than Mom? 
Yeah. I'll stick with Kain. Saying Grandpa just doesn't feel right. You look like 25. <laughs> Whoa. Look at that, Seth. You look like a guy from this one guy nice. I read once. <laughs> well, he is a grandfather with his grandchild. Wow. I guess getting grandchildren can really change a guy. I don't think it's quite like that. I think I've got a pretty good guess where Mac went. Where? To get those flowers. I see. See, for us, we figured that as long as those flowers were blooming... I think he's 30. Ah, oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. So you protected them. Yeah. He ages Mac incredibly well. I we both knew that <laughs> yeah. mom wasn't well. And by, by I think he's 30, yeah, like physically, together. because, you know, the he actual answer is that he's 1,000. <laughs> so we would pray to those flowers every day. Cook! <laughs> the flowers? I thought I could show them to mom. But they've already wilted. Those flowers, wasn't it important to let them keep blooming naturally? Didn't your mother also say that? Well, wilting is something natural, too. I thought they would cheer her up. I never let anyone step on them. You dummy. Did you think this would make Mom happy? I, that, that is but the case for my Jim Partners Monkey. Ugh. And they were also there. I, I, I like, vaguely heard it. You start eating the asbestos off the ceiling. The yep. fact that your mother treasured these flowers was probably <laughs> tied posted to a selfie on Twitter. I've never seen someone look more sad. Sure <laughs> Why? Why is it that? He's at work. <laughs> oh. And I can understand them too. <laughs> You're a good person, Mac. You're nice too, Kyle. <laughs> I thought that about you just now. Is that so? Go show them to Lyra, Mac. Mom? Mom? I'm a little emotional about things like this. Well, I don't handle these things too well either. Mr. Kine, take hold of the ribbons, please. These ribbons are the only thing that tie us, the living, to Miss Lyra, the deceased. Nothing illustrates uh, how, like, now begin well, a new journey. well, like uh, stretched out the game is, and not focusing on like running through things quickly is the ribbons. fact we're um we're about nine hours in now, I guess. Oh, let me see. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're like nine hours in. I fought two bosses. Yeah. Please watch Mac. Do you want to count the knights as a third boss or no? No. Nah. Like I I don't respect them or their That's horses fair. with he the bat wings on their head. The courage to sever these ties. That is his role. You shall cut your ties with Miss Lyra while your undying love for her remains in your hearts. You said that even if we have to cut our ties, we still have our spiritual bonds, right? Yes, those bonds are eternal. Now, let us send Miss Liram off. Many ribbons from Miss Liram have been passed to her father. When all of them have been severed, Miss Liram shall begin her journey out into Mother Ocean. Mac, with the lit torch you carry, trace the movements of the wands the attendees are waving. Those movements will convey the attendees' wishes and parting words to your mother. 
If you perform a move incorrectly, the attendee's good wishes will not be conveyed. If that happens, try again to match the movements of the attendees. Did you know that this was a mini game? <laughs> when you correctly trace the movements with your flame, the attendee's torches will light up. Then the attendees will sever the ribbons with their flames to represent their own Come talk to me later, I will give you a, a celestial plate for some reason. Eternal. When all of the ribbons are severed, Miss Liren will start her journey. Are you ready, Mac? It is time, everyone. Let us sever our physical ties with Miss Liren. Participants will light torches and use them to burn through the ribbon the gondola is attached to. It'll be your job to light all torches. Move your torch to the right and bring your flame to the tip. Adjust. Swing up, left, right, and down. Say final goodbyes to your mother. Stay strong. Pay attention to your partner. If you're unable, you may retry as many times as you like. The important thing is that everyone here fully extends their feelings. Yeah, the fact that they, they're like every single person has their own unique culture and how they do this, which will explain why everyone do, does different combos. How, how much work exactly did Sakaguchi do on 10? Uh, I have no idea. Because, like, like, the whole thing with the culture in this stuff really reminds me of 10. Like, like, like the... Especially the music. Yeah, 10 has some incredible, incredible world building and stuff like that. Like, like, like the, uh, the, the, there are parts of this track playing that sound like it's about to go into 2 Zanarkin. Yeah. Don't worry, the prog rock will be back. <laughs> you will see it go in. Fucking will, alright, goddamn. <laughs> Always looked up to her as a woman. I wouldn't mind becoming a mother like her someday. That's great, ma'am. I'm five. My mother is dead. <laughs> Yeah, this minigame is handled, uh, insanely well.
No, you haven't cried since the funeral began. It's so strange. I don't know why I can't cry. You seem so calm. Kayun. Was your mother happy? She was happy. She had lots of friends. Her dad was a really great person. Even the queen cared about her and helped her out a lot. I'm sure she must have been happy. <laughs> She always missed her time. <laughs> and Grandma. <laughs> you don't cry anymore, do you, Kaim? You're strong, Kaim. I heard from Mom that you are immortal and invincible. It's amazing. <sighs> Dying. It's really great. Not necessarily. Why not? It means I see so many people that I care for pass on, like your mother. You've seen it a lot? Yeah. Enough to lose count. That's why you got so strong. But... It must hurt. It does. I want to grow up to be strong like you, Kaim. Even if it hurts. Even if it's tough, I won't cry. I'm gonna be strong. Hmm. Right. <gasps> Look! Check it out! I'm back to life. I just knew it! I just knew Mom heard our wish! Do you still believe stuff like that? Don't you think Mom would have done this? It's gotta be because of her the flowers are better. Mom is close, and she hears what we say. It must mean she's with us, Cook. That's impossible. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Orin Bloodstone goes, Has Kaim been actually alive for a thousand years? Just back Dream Replies, actually alive. <laughs> yes, he's... Yes, he's been alive for a thousand years. He's He dreams of the many experiences and stuff. He is immortal. Can't you get your memory yes. back instantly? I mean, Same with Seth. A lot of time. Oh, you are so stupid, Jensen. Are you for real? You don't understand. Kaim! I care too. You don't say. Ah! What's, What's wrong? <laughs> Look at this. Mac went on again, and, and here, read it. Oh, I hate when kids leave me letters of where they're I'm going. I'm going to meet Mom in the Crimson oh. Forest. I'm going to store these flowers. Crimson Forest. Mac, kids. Oh, no, they went to the Hell Forest. It's supposed to be a place where yeah, you go to meet the souls of the dead. But the Queen has forbidden anyone to go in there. Oh, but he went anyway, huh? That little... Ugh. I'm gonna go look for him. I said this last stream, but he's, Wait, he's, Cook. There, there are points in time where Jansen's BA sounds like Ryan Drummond. It's too dangerous. <laughs> I'll go with you. I do remember you mentioning that we'll yesterday too. too. Yeah. What we? No. Hello, Eric. Are you saying we? Hi. Uh, Is it me? Yeah. We just I went did. through the funeral yeah. services you know, of. The uh, says don't go in the of, of Kime's I daughter. I think she's very wise. I don't think we should go to the oh. I'm going to stay who here. He thought, who he thought died Would when she fell lying? years ago, but turns out that no. he found her and Save then she died again. <laughs> Shut up and get moving. This guy's getting Let's fucked go. ghoulishly. So it's okay. He just learned he has two grandchildren and we got to go find the other one that ran off. Yeah, uh, and his grandchildren are your two next party members. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Cook one and Mac. Is, uh, one of them is voiced by Lil from... Um, <laughs> And the other one's voiced by the boy from My Gym Partner's a Monkey. Alright, let's go to the Hell Force. We gotta go solve this shit. Crimson Helm with the 25. Thank you so much. Time made up his immortality to make people feel sad for him. Oh, okay. 
<laughs> Dude, he made all those dreams up. <laughs> he wrote some good ones, though. Source, I made it. It's like you read something, you cry, and then it says at the end, Source, I made it up. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. All right, chat. I'm gonna di I'm gonna disconnect from the call. I'll be back when I'm done uh, doing another dream. I gotta go read through it real quick. Good luck. Yep. A dream has been revealed, chat. Let us dream it. Evening. Bell. Rolling farmland spread out before him. Kime harvests vegetables, wielding his hoe with deep concentration. The sky on this autumn evening is a deep crimson. Maybe we should call it a day, says the heavyset woman who owns the farm. She drops an armload of vegetables into the basket. Kime nods and wipes the sweat from his brow. You're a tremendous help, says the woman. Look how much we've done. Kime responds to her praise with a slight nod. You still can't remember where you came from, she asked. Afraid not. Well, the way you work, she says with an easy laugh, I don't care if you're from the moon. Seriously, Kime, what will you do when the harvest ends? I don't know yet. I haven't made up my mind. There's plenty of work to do here, even in winter, she says. It'd be fine with me if you wanted to stay on a while longer. Thank you, says Kime. She herself is a hard worker and a warm human being. This is not a life that allows for luxuries, but going out to the fields at dawn every day and ending work as the sun goes down softens the heart, even as it toughens the body. As they prepare to leave the field, the small bell begins to ring. The hour is still somewhat early for the church's evening bell. Time glances down to the road at the base of the hill. The funeral procession advances slowly along the road, the mourners surrounding a horse cart bearing a coffin. The woman sets her hoe on the ground, removes her headscarf, and clasps her hands together. Kime scans the hills to find that all the other workers on the surrounding farms are doing the same thing, clasping their hands, bowing their heads, and closing their eyes in the direction of the passing funeral. Kime follows their example. The old man leading the funeral procession swings the little bell. It's ringing echoes among the hills. The mourners pass in silence, the women in black veils men in black coats, heads bowed. The children in the rear elbow each other playfully, unaware of the meaning of death. When the funerals pass, the woman raises her head, blinks her moistened eyes. The one who passed away is going home, she says. Home? Kaim asks, somewhat startled. Home to the soil, to the sky, to the sea. Like all living things. Kaim nods in silent recognition. How many deaths has she seen in this endlessly long life of his? All those people leave this world of ours and we never see them again. In that sense, death is an infinitely sad event. If, however, we think that in dying they go back to their home somewhere, a certain comfort and even joy comes to mingle with the sadness. But Kaim, who can never grow old or die, can never go home. The woman scoops up a handful of earth and says with deep feeling, Many lives have become a part of this soil. The lives of tiny living things we can't see. The lives of withered grass. If you think about it that way, our vegetables are made for us by the lives of many others. I see. Can I ask you a favor, Kaim? Of course. If I should die while you're working here, would you scatter some of my ashes on this field for me? A handful would do. Kaim is at a loss for words. He forces a smile. Husband dead, children on their own. The woman lives by herself on the farm. Kaim knows that if he goes on working here, like it or not, he will eventually have to watch over the woman's deathbed, even if she were to die 100, 200 years from now. The church bell rings. 
signaling the end of the workday. The woman clasps her hands before her as she did when the funeral passed. I have been allowed to come safely through one more day. For this I give my heartfelt thanks. May tomorrow be another healthy day for me. Her voice in prayer resounds forcefully in Kaim's breast. This happens every time he hears the church's evening bell. The conviction overtakes him that he does not belong here. Ma'am, he says to the woman after the last chime resounds. Yes? Wouldn't you say that people give thanks for each safe day and pray for good fortune in the day to come because they know their lives will end? What? What's wrong, Kaim? I'll be leaving the village when the harvest is over. Why, all of a sudden, what's happened? I have no right to live here, he says. Ignoring her stupefaction, Kaim lifts the vegetable basket in both arms. He takes another good long look at the setting sun. Where will you go, Kaim, if you live here? I don't know. Somewhere. Are you just going to keep wandering like this? I don't have any place to go home to, says Kaim. Hoisting the basket onto his shoulder, he starts down the hill. His back glows red in the setting sun. Alright, well, that's that's another one of those done. I can imagine a lot of people who played this when they were younger and weren't in the right mindset probably either skipped or hated sections like that because they interrupted gameplay, but they do so much at elevating, like, the gameplay, the story, and the mood of the game quite a bit. They did a really good job of uh, giving you gameplay sections that uh, allow you to get into those sections real well. Alright, let's go. Let's go, let's go to back to the adventure. Maybe we'll find bisexual Heihachi. We were talking about Stop! We were just, we were you just, fuckers no, okay. suck! All right, we no, we did not plan this. We did not plan for this to happen as you. No! As you I was telling them we should probably stop before he comes in. You and then I came in. Man. Shut up! Did you kill yourself, Jordan? Oh my god! Oh fuck! There's tanks. <laughs> oh fuck! Just, oh fuck! This is some weird looking tanks. Apparently not. Hello, Jordan. We have grandkids now. Oh. Damn, they must be planning to invade Ura. Yeah, that sounds about right. What? Oh, yeah, we did hear about that. Fucking. <laughs> Bisexual Heihachi did say they were planning to go to war. <laughs> I like that that's just what you're calling him now. I forgot it. I think his name's like Zacanus. Oh, probably. I don't fucking remember. No, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna. You know what? I'm gonna. I'm gonna be polite to him. It's the least. It's the least I can do. Hold on. Let me. Let me save. It's the least you can do with a guy with no hair. Yeah, Kakanis. Thank you. It's not Zacanus. Kazooie when running. <laughs> it's kind of like that, yeah. <laughs> Stony Banjo. How you doing today, Jordan? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Um, good. I was here earlier. Oh yeah, you were. I forgot about that. <laughs> really? D dude, I, I I thought that I was a third all day until I looked at the calendar before I like left my job. Ah, uh, you're living in the future right now. I'm I'm glad our grandchild has a better like outfit for the rest of the game. <laughs> Like actual grandchild or just yes. like? Uh, oh, yeah. Yes. Turns out the visions of that child falling off the cliff. Um, she survived. And then we, and this is her. We daughter. met her. We met her children, and they brought us to her, and she died in bed. Yeah, uh, and one of them is, is uh, one of them is voiced by Lil from uh, Rugrats. Oh, it is incredibly amazing. 
Uh, the other is voiced by the main character of the hit Cartoon Network uh, cartoon, uh, My Gym Partners Among We're looking for that one now. I'm fucking... <laughs> this really is just what happens when you get Microsoft to publish your game. <laughs> they get you... Uh. I also lost my mind uh, when Chad informed me. Voice director for this did Death Stranding's voice direction. Five hundred years ago, wasn't it? Huh? What? 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 What other game was there as well? Uh, Dragon's what? Dogma One. Dragon's Dogma. That's what it was. Yeah. What? what, what? Tell me. It was very good voice direction. Did you? <laughs> did you guys see that? Uh. No. Yandere <laughs> Dev shit. <laughs> No, I don't. Ke I don't keep up on Yandere Dev. What did he do now? Uh, what did he first, do? Honestly? First day of 2024 gets accused of grooming a miter and then going, "Yeah, I did that. My bad." <laughs> uh, Dude, he got banned from Twitch like fucking five months ago or some shit. He can't uh, sink much lower. Uh, he said this within the first like one or two minutes of a 60-minute video, so I, I have to wonder what the other 14 minutes in <laughs> are. I'm Maybe I'll check it out later. I'm, I'm putting a screenshot in Goon Call chat of. I would rather the... not see him. Oh no, it's that shit. I I saw that a while ago of those things where oh, he, he asked if he were where he asked if your period has started yet. Oh, oh boy, oh, oh boy. Mm. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Anyway, we're. Anyway, we have to do this dungeon properly. Anyway, now. run can't... time. Yeah, yeah, run time. Please, God. Here's the Kime, force. Kime, Kime runs like how characters run in Xavier Renegade Angel. <laughs> <laughs> you want to watch that show, Jordan? <laughs> yeah. I will love to watch Xavier. That show's fucking hilarious. I love it. I, I watched the first episode like a couple days ago. What did you think? Uh, I laughed really hard when yeah. <laughs> it turned out that the first episode is 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 where the clip of I need some of that drug you guys made. I need that, some of that drug, drug you guys you made. Guys. What is it? AIDS. <laughs> what, what was it? Why, he, 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 no. No, no AIDS. <laughs> he That's <says> the spice. <laughs> That's the spice. <laughs> <laughs> but the, the, uh, there was one where he has like children like like all hiding out in, in, in like a sewer and he goes down there and he says oh, okay kids i will distribute my love among you via love points and love tokens you can trade in 15 love points for one love token god <laughs> disgusting oh, always has the best random collection of images to put in a tweet <laughs> Yes. You saw the one I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, I, I looked over. Universal Pictures is the highest grossing studio at the 2023 box office. And the images they use to convey this are Megan, Naf, the Mario movie, and Oppenheimer. I hate Because of him, I think FNAF is really fun. <laughs> Pretty pity. <laughs> Let me see. Reduces spell cast. Oh, she's really good. She can like cast this on Jansen so his spell speeds faster. Um, uh, then she has concentrate for herself. Look at what they're doing to us. Look at what the economy has done. We're casting spells so that we can cast other spells faster. <laughs> I need this shit, because this game has that system where if someone gets hit enough when they cast, they get delayed. This is a fucking... This is a fucking 80s RPG on, a, on an Xbox. What do you mean 80s RPG? What do you... Just like, it has so many old systems. Turn delay isn't an old system. W what's happened here is that many RPGs uh, have removed depth. <laughs> To such a large degree. It is it is kind of crazy because I'll like the the worst part is like when I engage with an RPG and they're like, we have a ton of systems, I'm like, yeah, and they're like, none of these systems really make you think at all, and I'm like, oh okay. Which isn't like I don't want to put other things down because of this game, it's just more so like, God, I do like having to think about my turns. Yeah! 
me what I'm driving. Yeah, <laughs> thinking about my turns right now. Dude, speak, speaking of, I, I, I almost forgot. You know, you know how yesterday we were talking about gears? <laughs> I thought you were gonna say. Uh, speaking of, I've been really thinking about my turns. Uh, that, that too. But you know how we were talking about gears yesterday? Yeah. Uh, on the way to work, I almost fucking ran into a gear with the car. We had to swerve the fucking way. Be careful. This shit's dangerous. Uh, okay, we can actually do Prism now. That'll come out a little. It'll come out this turn instead of an entire other turn later. Yeah. Have, have any of you guys played uh, uh, Grandia too? Nah, that, that's Grandia's a gap in, in my knowledge. Uh, Grandia two has some amazing battles and stuff. Where it's like kind of an ATV thing, but you see all the characters on like a timeline that 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 actively moves. Yeah. Um. And, and and your moves obviously you know, dictate turn order and stuff. But but you can you can hit enemies to delay them on that bar to the point where they might not even move at all. A oh, really so. good battle system. What's up? Um. You know the uh, Soy Libre video. Barely on parents one. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Um. You talking about a deer got me thinking about one time when I was on the highway and I saw a deer get hit and fly like that video. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, oh, I should laugh at that. <laughs> so they've introduced a status effect that's a dancing feather on my HUD. If if any character has that, all attacks they do deal one damage. <laughs> I gotta give him a fucking vitamin for it. It, it uh, this also happens to me if I don't properly feed myself. Ah, uh, yeah, it turns them in a colon. A what? That's what the uh, status it, effect is called. Uh, it, it, uh, it basically turns him into one of those enemies like, that he's currently fighting. Oh, uh, that explains it. So they just turn you into the weakest thing in the world. Yeah, 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 yeah. They turn you into the weak enemy, which, which I think is really good. Yeah. You don't have any big attack spells, but I can throw an attack okay. item at you. You don't have any special moves. Yep. A random encounter. Yeah, it's just that th this is one of them where they summon additional enemies. Oh, oh, that was easy. I, I, I don't know if an RPG's ever done this, but you know, um, I, I, I always thought it would be a really cool idea to where if, if, you, if you cast silence, like not only can they not use spells, they can't call for backup because they obviously can't speak. Oh, yeah. We can start skill linking with our with our grandchild now because I realized oh yeah she has a bunch of skills. Angel yeah, Lard so boosts the amount of HP from healing magic, prayer, restores HP of one, uh, and then the casting support. Yeah, so many uh, special moves. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and have you both go for casting support now. That way they can we can have as many people helping out Jansen as we can. I'm glad your weapon is called Renunculus. That's great. That's the Gen 5 Pokemon, right? Son of a bitch. Nice. Actually, hold on. I can give you something that actually would be party favors. Thank you for the $10. Let's see what you do. Which party member would fare the best if made to fight Bugs Bunny? Either Kaim or Seth, because they're immortal and thus can get maximum comedy from all the pianos dropped on their heads. Jansen is so fucked, dude. It's like, realistically, I feel like Jansen, but also he's mortal and can die. Yeah. 
let's let's give you apprentice earrings so now you just have access to black magic all right she is no longer nearly as uh support only I, I in, in RPGs I, I I always appreciate the support uh, part number, but holy shit! Please give them like something to attack with. <laughs> uh, I hit that and bad shit happened. Uh oh. Huh. Not too smart, eh? oh fuck! Yeah, that's a Spaturas. Look at these fucking dudes. And a soul eater bug. They keep making noises back there. Just like the twins. <laughs> yup. Let me see if you move the turn, Parker, immediately mid turn with that. You do! Nice! Oh, I get it. You kill yourselves and then, and then make that bug get bumped. That's bad. <laughs> oh, I get it. You kill yourself. <laughs> oh, I get it. Big team player, I see. Oh, you have a spell called Slower? Great. As opposed to the spell Slow. <laughs> that reminds me of, of, of the... Um... Of, of the spell translations from the PS1 version of Persona 1. Where where your your Megido spells are nuke, nuke more, and nuke most. <laughs> nuke most. Okay. That noise is so public domain. <laughs> There we go, you didn't get, get to eat as many of them, thank god. Oh, that was the, that was the fucking flare mine they put on him. Oh shit, you can do that, that's bad. <laughs> Uh, we cleared it. Sorry to cook. You ain't getting shit off that fight. Go white boy, cast those spells. Yeah, cook did in fact get cooked. It was not, not, not a great, not, not a great moment for them the over there. Cookie. All right, you're it's you're out. It's really fucking funny how this is just the exact same texture as the FF7 menu. Yeah, it. It, it's especially like that eight and nine era where they're just like silver. <laughs> You're just in that. The only difference now is that it loads like a like a two thousand and one web page where every every element's coming out from a different direction. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I'm going on the fucking desktop of dot hack, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, you have to check Crimson Versus. You have to see if you want that character <laughs> to actually play. <laughs> I think Crimson Versus might be the funniest card game ever put into an RPG because it's not a card game. It makes you think it is, but it plays itself. Yeah. Ooh. You you, you don't even see the turns. <laughs> Mac must be ahead of us. Let's go. We must find additional child now. <laughs> I'm just gonna shoulder check that real quick and get out of here. Yeah, this is Max Whimsy Forest music. Why does this kid look like Porum from FFA ages 50 years but never got taller? That's a lot of words. And a lot of descriptors. Yep. 
it's just a child. You can just say, hey, that's a child, and we can, like, go from there. Why does this kid look like this character, except when this character has 15 other things and no longer... <laughs> <laughs> because the, the internet has made it so, I'm gonna be honest, have made everyone mentally ill. And given the ability to not describe things without saying, it's like this, 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 this and this. It's like Skibbity Toilet, but green. <laughs> no, shout out to Eric. <laughs> Sorry. Unattended shot. Red Trent. Yeah. <laughs> Son of a bitch! What? What did you hear? So Ow! Laugh. If you heard it, it wasn't silent. No, no, no you, it was. Son, you're doing Shut something up. silent. You fuck off, you asshole. <laughs> what are you, James? Ugh. Yeah, doesn't feel good now, does it? No, it does. I'm sorry. That's one of the funniest fucking things where I I probably played uh, the the, uh, the PlayStation TV. And I'm like, oh, someone didn't format their thing correctly, so there's just a bunch of Japanese games and homebrew stuff on it. And someone's PSN. So I, I realistically, I could have bought shit. We could put someone's PSN, but I didn't want to do that. <laughs> and, and then you were like, James Corden, I had to tell you I bought this from James. Yeah, uh, I, I had to go. This tree is thick, dude. Uh-oh. Oh, thank oh, God my. we dodged. <laughs> thick. living in like an RPG world because fucking a random thing will just pass up on you and then now you won't be able to go to sleep when you have work the next day. It's like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> These are some, you know, that's a real concern. Okay, that wasn't as, as hard hitting as I was expecting. Thank God. It's not like that random horse with bat wings on its head that did like 350 to Jansen. Uh, there's... The scariest thing about like certain RPGs is they just put jump scare enemies in the... in dungeons. <laughs> Where like everything else is like, yeah, I can handle that, and then there's like that one encounter that's like, just fucked. Yeah. Oops, wrong one. Eh, whatever. Okay, the front row finally is no longer hell. Uh, yeah, the front row and back row are mechanics. The meter on the top left and top right represent, uh, the GC, which is like our guard. Uh, if the front row's health gets lower, that meter gets lower, it's, it caps it, basically. It matches whatever the maximum health is. If you, if, if they ever try to hit the back row, it does significantly reduce damage while that's active. There's a video that Jordan um, quote tweeted yesterday that I keep watching. Uh, it's, it's I don't know if it's GTA 5 or something, but it's a bunch of cars going off a ravine and then landing, and it, it, it like calculates how like what your percentage of surviving the car crash would be. So I so it's it's video. like it, it's it starts at like 100 percent and like a specific car crashes, and it's like oh shit, you have like a 32 percent chance of surviving this crash. It cuts to the fucking cyber truck. <laughs> it uh -huh. crashes so bad, the percentage of survival becomes negative 8, so that means you die so hard, you have an 8% chance of coming back alive. <laughs> Lucky? Hold on, I'll, I'll share it here.
the rival chance 100%. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> Audi R8, survival chance 100%. What does it mean a survival chance 100%? If, what, 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 Keep what, watching. What? 36%. Yeah, yes. Yeah, like, 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 it's telling you what your percentage would be surviving that crash. <laughs> but then why does it all start at 100? You're flying off like, you're gonna. Dude! 2%. <laughs> Stop, 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 stop. That Ferrari La Ferrari is not good. It's not, it's, it, that is. Ferrari La Ferrari? <laughs> dude, car names are the stupidest shit in the world. That's, dude, imagine you spend like years developing this car's chases. Hold you know, on, Aerie, look at parts and you're like, yeah, this is the Ferrari La Ferrari. Aerie, please watch the cyber, watch the cyber truck part. <laughs> okay, Tesla's cyber truck. <laughs> <laughs> does not even make it to the other end of the ravine? <laughs> 8%? What? Yeah, uh, uh, God's like, live. drive a cyber truck and went, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm gonna let you I spin the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> you can go back for an 8% roll. Okay, we got... We got those skills done, move on to something else. Oh, hold on. Jansen has something new in here. Oh, he has level 3 black magic. I'm gonna drop some shit real quick. Hold on. <laughs> I didn't know you were real like that, Jansen. <laughs> Jansen, I... I never knew. Spellbook. What you, what you got in here? Oh, hold on. What were the twin towers? 16 pages of photos inside. By Jim O'Connor. Hold on, I got kid. one. I got, I got one more for you. Okay, I'll just sit here. POV: Cody Rhodes on January first, raw taping. So, so, okay. What is, what is going on with Cody? You explain it again, Casey. You'll do it more succinctly. Yeah. <clears throat> So, currently on Raw, um, The Rock showed up, and obviously if The Rock is going to start doing things in the WWE again, that means he's going to headline WrestleMania, because someone of that of that stature, size, and ego is not going to settle for anything else. Which means Cody Rhodes, who we're waiting to main event and get his title, will clearly, not be, will, will clearly not be doing anything related to that, because The Rock is now in the picture, uh, effectively making it so fans of him are now on Suicide Watch again. That is a <laughs> summation of the current events happening. Ooh, I think I'm gonna like this. He's having an American nightmare of his own right now. <laughs> <laughs> we are still doing Cody and Nakamura for some reason. Oh shit, you're running. Cody away. Rhodes potential wrestler! No, because I know because Cody is one <laughs> again. <laughs> you're fucked. You, you, you can't hold it together. I will finish my outfit into my story. So. <laughs> I hate anyway, this too. Was big because every aspect of it I just do not like, and I know that you're just gonna do it forever until I kill myself on stream. Okay, I'm, uh, Cody I'm so is not potential wrestler because he did the equivalent of beating a secondary villain in a shonen. Uh, okay. Now stop talking about wrestling. I haven't watched enough Jujutsu Kaisen yet to see if Megumi gets a single win. Yeah, and if you spoil chat, perma ban. Reference chat. Well, the last, shit. the last, the last thing I saw was Megumi getting his shit rocked by Toto. Yeah, so we're pretty early on, but it is oh, so unfortunate how much Megumi's been getting his shit rocked as like the opening statement. I got a DM from Serum. 
The scarab pinned a message to this channel. Oh. Luigi's Mansion. Also, you now have to buy the Luigi's Mansion 2 for when it comes out. No! No, I don't! I own that game of 3DS and it sucks! Yeah, oh, but you, you, gotta, did. You, just, you just didn't understand it. Maybe you'll understand it on the Switch revisit. Yeah. It's gonna be the same game! <laughs> yeah, but it's, yeah, but it's on the 3DS and the 3DS is bad. They're all good. So I've run into this issue of what this uh, what this enemy formation is, in case people were noticing. They're bombs that blow up, and their other skill is resurrecting other bombs. This bomb, these, these enemy setups are crazy. <laughs> Welcome to the torture labyrinth. <laughs> we're going to the torture labyrinth tomorrow. Uh, we'll solve my maze. Don't worry about that, white baby. Fuck! White baby, can you ask, stop asking questions? Oh, this sucks! <laughs> this is an 80s RPG, because you can't just run into enemies that will beat your fucking ass. Wait, hold on, can you flee? Yeah. Let's get out of here. Okay, oof. Oh, and all the reses. Yeah, yeah, it does. Don't worry, they're not they're not idiots, thank god. Okay, I I've I've always really appreciate that. Yeah, oh boy. Hold on. James is being inflammatory on Twitter. Mm, oh, okay. I'm drinking iced tea. Where from? My house. Oh. Grocery. I now know because that tweet just got tweeted that KZ was not taking that long to write a response. He nah, was just nah, nah, not not a not a fucking chance out here. He's like, don't worry, the people calling this the real FF13 were only being mostly inflammatory. I'm like, no, it's full inflammatory because they are going against literal fucking art to prop up other art. I Fuck like you, James. I'm gonna games. fuck it. I'm gonna throw you in a pit. This game rules. Celebrate it on its merits and not, uh, it's, it's the real thing of this brand I like. Is James a 13 hater? That son of a bitch. I'm gonna throw you in the dungeon. He was almost <laughs> there. I read it and I went, what do you mean mostly? You take me to that son of a bitch right now. I will find you. If you just don't have those last two words. Uh, do, 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 do I have permission to be inflammatory for the sake of a bit against James? Yes! Yes. Okay. I uh, expect- I'm just- I am literally disappointed in him! I expected better, unironically. I, 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 I don't- I don't understand how- 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 how James can- can hate FF13 when all Vita RPGs are also single hallways. <laughs> boom! 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 I like FF13. I have, I have to declare that I like that game. <laughs> Rats. <laughs> James plays 
James' favorite game is a game where you are first person walking through hallways, yet he hates Final Fantasy 13. Curious! <laughs> is he stupid? Is the protagonist a woman? <laughs> no, we're, we're sculpting Actually, some I've, evil I've right news. now. I've got bad news. The protagonist of both games is a woman. Yeah, but, 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 James, but, but James pretends not to do it because you, you play as little puppets instead. You're, no, that, you're just having... You, 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 this is I, I know, I know. I'm, 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 I'm making a mean, you, you, you would think you would let me have this for the sake of bullying James. <laughs> you know, I just want you to do better. Like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not similarly, to similarly to James, I wanted... <laughs> I, I, I expected better. <laughs> Oh man, that's five thousand life points burned for James there. What life points do you have? <laughs> it's gonna be zero by the end of today. <laughs> oh, <laughs> draw monster card. <laughs> yeah, I'm, he's about to be Weevil in a minute. <laughs> he has to see the work. And if Taya tries to stop me, she's getting a right hook. Oh god, that's a level 2 spell. Hold on, let me go look at Adventure Site to see if James has any <laughs> Final Fantasy 13. Stop, stop, stop. Dude. Wait, what's up? What happened? What happened? What happened? Uh, also, you don't need to do that. The latest 13 thing was a, a wonderful article by uh, his boss about 13. Uh, oh my god. Okay, oh. I'm good. I, I'm good now. I'm good. Oh my god, the fucking... Death March feels even more real now. You, all you oh. had to s You were almost there, Jim. You just had to say everyone's ridiculous about it, because I'm like... It's not the real FF13. The real oh, FF13 is the fucking game that released. Oh, FF13. All art are queens, okay? That's all. That's the argument I'm making here, because I have this game in quite a large esteem. I want its reputation to be fantastic RPG, not... Uh, this is this is the this is the rival. This is the thing you should pay. Adventure game. Like, yeah, adventure. I'm gonna fucking kill myself. It's gonna happen. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking jump. I am going to jump. I hey, I won! Yay! Haha! Yay! 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 Fucking Jesus Christ, dude! I'm tired. Let's just go in I, here. I like this adventure you're on in, in your game. I know so many people. They're like, I ain't gonna touch this shit because of the way that people talk about it. Okay, you can just now start telling people that you're playing one of your favorite adventure games and it should like throw off the trail a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna go on an adventure and drop you in a hole. <laughs> <laughs> that hole is your home, Mr. Skibbity Toilet. I'm sorry, Miss Skibbity Toilet. Thank you. Yeah, I know. You know Drama what, I'll let you, thank you. Draw my best. No, it's okay. Wait, hold on. Uh, how, wait, uh, instead, instead of Mrs., do you think Eric goes by Rizzes? <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, okay. Come on! Right. I'm dude? joking bad, dude! Oh my I god! Really, Holy I actually, shit! I actually would literally rather you call me a slur or misgender me at this point. Like, there's... Uh, oh, okay, like, okay, 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 Eric, 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 Eric. Uh, for one second, follow me in Kaniac Corner. Okay, well, okay, well, they're gone. Uh, the lore for the I Love Oil Sakaguchi is the intro has that war scene, and I went, I wonder how Sakaguchi feels about the horrors of war. And then I thought of the Power Up Comics I Love War image, and then someone just put, put, and put that in there. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm glad the children got their fucking, <laughs> fucking tired themselves out. Things out. Holy shit. my problem and why i was yelling at james i'm like you, you could have just said 
to just be an inflammatory and we would have been good. But you went mostly. And you're like, there's some of the good ones that think it's the real one. I'm like, no! Ah! Whoa, whoa, ah! whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, James is like, the good ones, okay. Can you clip that? <laughs> that was so fucking good! I'm, dude, I'm fucking dizzy. <laughs> This, like this stream series song. has been a 10 out of 10 so far. That fucking felt like a FromSoft <laughs> fucking trap. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, it's a button! Oh my god! <laughs> oh wait, hold on. Slow walk. No, that doesn't matter! You <laughs> really have some... <laughs> All right, it looks like you can make it. <laughs> End the stream. End the stream. You just no. saved. End no, no, we no. can't. We cannot do that. You cannot waste that charge. No, that take is advantage not like, of the momentum. Get a streak. That's like a that's like a two <laughs> time a year moment. I don't even think you should get. I don't even think you, you should. You would get that shit once every three years tops. Yeah, I know. You 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 really got to be rare with it. I was thinking about doing something with Fantasia, but we're so close to other big releases. I can only allow myself one old game, I feel like, coming up. Because of because of all the January stuff. I guess I just yeah. gotta run I guess I just gotta run this. AZ. Oh no, there's a side thing on the second block. I've heard oh. nothing but bad things about Fantasia from the one person I've seen play it. Linus Tech Tips, who says it is a scam to make people sub to Apple Arcade. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Holy fucking shit. Yeah I, yeah, I know. What a fucking tool. I'm pretty sure that won uh, Adventure Game of the Year on AdventureSite.net. <laughs> Adventure Site? Yeah, AdventureSite.net. Thank you, Jordan. <laughs> You're welcome. Luckily for you, I've played a lot of adventure games. I'm a Zelda fan. Bad news, I think this is also a button. <laughs> that does look like a button. I was hoping one would come rolling. Dude, if up. it came out on this side and hit me if I tried to run away from it, I think I'd just stop playing. <laughs> <laughs> I think I, if I was a developer, I would do that because I would laugh my fucking ass off. Dude, oh. Where is it? Just run. Just, just leave. Just leave. <laughs> just leave. <laughs> I can't even be mad at this because I'm sure my boss will be in on the bit himself. Yeah, it's it's like you can't even take you can't even take the take serious. You just you just gotta have fun with it a little bit. I should see if we can pull it for April Fools. <laughs> I just imagine the alternate universe where we take that terminology. And it's like, sorry guys, uh, since they're not RPGs anymore, we gotta cover stuff like anything with EXP systems that aren't Japanese RPGs. So what's up, guys? Uh, Suicide Squad. Playing Immortals of Avium. <laughs> okay, even even they can't entertain the bit for that one. <laughs> no one's playing that shit. I mean, fucking fucking Alex would just be like, Yeah, yeah, we oi oi, we ain't doing that. <laughs> SEO low. Well, I think I'm gonna like this. I don't remember his voice very well. I just know he's here. I just think about all the, um, uh, fucking, who's the, uh, who made the Majora's Mask HD pack? Narrow? I think about all <laughs> Narrow! Of, I think about all of Narrow's impressions of Digital Foundry. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah, his Richard voice is almost perfect. <laughs> it's genuinely perfect to a scary extent. He almost considered doing a sponsored post for Mortals of Avium, but then EA smartly realized they were doomed and rescinded the sponsor offer. What? They knew that shit was gonna pop so bad. They're like, "All right, pull out on these sponsors. <laughs> Just pack up." <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> oh my god. I respect that this game's run system allows you, like, multiple times. You have, like, multiple chances per turn on it. That's neat. I, I, I love when games do that. I think Etrian Odyssey also does that, and it's really... I, it's pretty good. 
All right, let's see what that is that we got. Transforms luck into healing power. HP recover when critical hits occur. Oh, okay. When I do crits, I just get some... That's cool. But, yeah. Yeah, that's kind of... That's good enough. Wait, hold on, Jansen. What's your, what's your juice looking like? 60? All right. Eh. We got some. We got some stuff. What are we doing? Oh, yeah, we're going up here. I'm going to go ahead and run now. What? What if, what if it took a sharp left hit you down the stairs? Fuck! <laughs> These are real ass dungeons. It's a real ass adventure game, I agree. <laughs> it's been so long since I've played an adventure game with real dungeons. <laughs> They don't really happen often. Tails used to do them, but then they stopped. I think it like Graces. I think they get yeah Graces. They Graces was like the midway point of them giving up. Yeah, because they kind of tried. They did some stuff a little bit Zestiria. I do remember like stuff like the Water Trial Dungeon and that. But afterward, yeah. afterward they kind of just do the linear, linear like go through thing. Like most other games, so it's not really a call out against that series in particular. I just I like actual dungeons. <laughs> By your truck. I also like to play and draw. I people were unaware. I don't give a fuck. Oh. Ooh, what is this? Damn. Oh, hello. It's an hello green thing. Uh, push. Where, where can I can I like take you take you out now? Like go. Like go. Like okay. I've been like addicted to doing that voice recently. It's been a problem. All right, I can't really. It looks push like it's the... yeah. It looks like it's locked because the the light on it is red. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, the bit is that someone on Twitter said, uh, Final Fantasy VI, great game, not an RPG. Whoa! <laughs> the temple guards! Uh, they're designed to, uh, guard three specific rooms. Until you get the temple item, then they, uh, they vanish. They also make Jordan scared. Oh, sorry, I just had to... Oh. <laughs> yeah, we're talking about oh, temple oh, guards. Lord. Sorry, I thought you were commenting on me, like, clearing my... No, oh. no, not this time! Oh, if they hit you, the fight starts! You need to watch more Guts and hope to God one of the kids doesn't shit themselves violently the entire time. Oh, man. Oh, fuck. I am not doing this. Oh, no. I don't like these things! Let's get out of here. Okay, all right. The Kimes flea attempt got us. Yeah, the visuals hold up really well. Then emulating it, you can get it uh, even higher than this. I know Dream was running at like 1440p at 60. Oh, it's a Healy thing. Oh, we're so set. This is it, chat. I can actually fight things and not worry about how I'm melting. Welcome to the Chamber of Stone Tablets. <laughs> Just seeing abnormal tweets right now. I know Devante's playing the Japanese version of Kingdom Hearts 1 on PS2. Dude, why Just, is everyone doing that? What the fuck? Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know, but it's cool cool to be like, oh, how did this version play? They tweet, Peter Pan does not have that shit on. <laughs> Just tweeting that out of pockets, making me go crazy. Don't let him get away. Yeah, the main reason I wanted to tap out of fighting is I was worried about, uh running out of MP because I'm running out of items to restore it, but since we have a Healy spot, I will absolutely fight the Earth Colossi.
leftists these days only want to fight the Earth Colossi when they have a healing point nearby. Yeah, I'm worried about these resources. It's stressing me out. Fuck. Uh-oh. Stop that. Back in my day, we didn't have a town as a base of operations before fighting the wizard. We just simply went and balled. I, I fucking I, mean, I, I, I don't know how to tell you this. Every RPG has had a town that you go back to the rest before you fight the wizard. Not in my day. What, with the dinosaurs, you fucking idiot? 400 AD, bitch. No, 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 please understand. I am fucking... I'm losing it. How dare Why? you? How dare you try? How dare you try to be like? No, you just didn't. You missed the town. <laughs> like, what are you fucking doing? Okay. Also what trying to say, they, 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 them, explain you this shit. What do you mean that did that much? Why did you both pick Seth? <laughs> that was a thousand damage, I think. Yeah, it was about. It was. It was like nine hundred something. Not great. Thank God one of them is dead. I have to go pick pick up the red paste off the floor that I call a party member. Well, I mean, if if um if uh, Kaim is, is still up, can the guy attack the other? Oh, yeah, he can attack the other two. Yeah, I think we will end up killing this thing by the time the turn limit comes up for Seth to get an auto revive. Okay. Reminder, chat: the immortal party members will auto res after a few turns. So you can strategize around that. Oh. Alright, I'm just gonna hope that you don't hit her. Given that there are three other people you could. I feel like this AI is malicious enough to hurt her though. Oh! Yes, but thankfully. Okay, it's, not. it's going after Kyle. You already make the joke that Aries Jansen in the last stream. Uh, no, everything about Jansen is just uh, the fact that Mittens finds Jansen incredibly attractive and silly, and it's tempting for Jordan to cosplay him. That's what we're dealing with. You know what? Good for her. Behold, the first cosplay that have nobody recognized. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> don't you recognize this adventure game protagonist from 2008 Xbox 360 exclusive? I think I think Drew would have a better chance cosplaying a fucking blue dragon character. And because, it, and because this shit came out of back and pat, it gets no, it gets no bump because it went on back and pat, and it isn't like a remaster, so no one has it goes. Hey, this is in the news for a couple months. No, they're like, hey, pay 20 bucks on the store. months that's being generous. I mean the new cycle of announcement, trailers, and release. Like, you'd have enough, like, the like, it, it, yeah. cycle. It's like, it's like when the Zodiac Age dropped, and it's like, oh yeah, we got, we got the announcement, we got, like, the trailers, we got that, like, And, like, release. that got ported to a bunch of shit. Yeah, Which, when, like, when, when it, when it, when it's like, shelf life in, in, like, yeah. Marketing. Yeah, there's, like, a moment, even for, like, smaller-scale games. Like, there was a couple months where people gave a shit about Odin Sphere for a bit when its re remaster remake came out. I still give a shit about Odin Sphere. That shit rocks. I love when I bought a physical copy of this a month before they gave it on Xbox Live. People just kept waiting and go, what do you just, just put it on here? Dude, there are people who gave a shit about fucking Grim Grimoire. <laughs> yes! Well, I'm, I'm gonna care about everything they release because I'm afraid of Vanilla or dying at all moments. Oh, yeah, no, same. I, I understand this, but also... It's Unicorn Overlord. Overlord is in March. It is, yeah, very start of March. Shout out to uh, the, the end of March when it's Dragon's Dogma 2, Princess Peach Showtime, and uh, fucking Rise, Rise of the of Ronin, Ronin on the same yeah. day. I'm curious to see what the sales are gonna be for fucking that, that Peach game. I feel like that's going to do absurdly well. Uh, like, I'm gonna uh, probably about four or five mil. 
Probably, yeah. yeah. Do, like, do you know how many copies Luigi's Mansion 3 has? <laughs> Luigi's Mansion. <laughs> Luigi's Mansion is a titan. Unicorn Overlook's called that because you'll only find one person with a copy from me. Dude. <laughs> every. Every. Every single mentally ill person I know with pronouns is buying that shit for the cards. With pronouns implying there are people out there who don't have any. <laughs> I was hoping you would identify. I was really hoping. I wanted to see how long it would take you guys to identify it. I can't believe you got it instantly. You guys are usually. I'm usually able to stealth bad jokes past you a little bit. No, no, no. I don't think there's a world in which that would have slipped. Yeah, fucking zoinks. How many copies do you sell? Yeah, fucking over 12 million. For, for a reference, uh, before before 15, Final Fantasy 15 came out, Tabata said his dream was a lifelong sales amount of 10 million. And Luigi's Mansion 3 drops, and they're like, Luigi's Mansion, 13 million. Okay, hold on. Can they, can they hurry I want to check. Put, can they put the first one on Switch? I'm, fucking... I'm going to Can I issue you in a 3DS remaster? <laughs> Dude, that 3DS remaster is like, it's still better than 2. <laughs> Seth's like, I'd like to die and not get experience right before the end if possible. I'm like, oh, that's so nice of you. Oh, great. She was about to fucking learn the thing and I could have started her on the next one, but it's only going to be time now. <laughs> Unicorn Overlord is going to be one of the two games to buy on PS5 this year, only because it's on, not on PC and I'm not giving Alter any more ammo. But the, the, you're, yeah, I'm, oh, okay. <laughs> if you I'm didn't want to give Alter ammo, not, I'm you would not, not give me this ammo. Yeah, I said, it's fine. Game not on PC, unga bunga. I'm going to be honest. This shit makes me so upset. When, when, when he's like, I, I'm so excited to play Grand Blue with you. It's got crossplay and everything, and I refuse to have the Stranger of Paradise thing happen. The next day doesn't have me. He's like, I got, I gotta go back. And every time he points it out, I'm, I just get overcome with this energy. It's the only time I become Alto. I'm like, can I just like bite his ear? <laughs> okay, for reference, chat. Don't ask why that was my choice. I'm, I'm done. I have what I would do. I have like the top ten sales, the top ten Switch games right here. <laughs> Whoa, I know, right? Number one, Jasper Ben <laughs> No! Oh! Super Mario Party, the game that anyone who likes Mario Party will tell you is kind of bad. That's fine. <laughs> it was, it was one a step team. in the right direction. It was a step in the right direction, but it's not like I never play it again. Uh, 20 million. That sound effect, dude. Twitter has told me it's a good game since the steak makes you hungry, Jordan. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking it's about? so true, dude, actually. That, uh, that, uh, that, uh, that, that one minigame in Super Mario Party, that's like a piece of meat. Sure, yeah. man. Have you never seen that one, Jordan? No, I have. I just don't. That human meat is crazy. He's like, I know, I just don't want to participate right now. Okay, I found another like absurd Switch data thing that can help you understand how high of a buff Switch games get. Super Mario 3D All-Stars, yeah. a game that existed for nine months, I think. No, it's, it still exists. It's still out there. They, well, they, they... yeah. They printed way too many copies, obviously, but like, in terms of, like, new copies being produced. Yeah. That game sold nine million units. And Tabata was hoping for lifetime sales of 10 million. Yeah. Does it have now currently? I'll go check. That was good. <laughs> As of May 2022, the game has sold 10 million units worldwide. Hey, yeah, I know. People were like, his dream fucking happened. We made it.
Let's see. Uh, did you get Jackson? Yeah, yeah, you got it. You got that. I gotta start working on level 3 white magic then. Treasure analysis. That, I don't need that on, I think, ever. Oh, that's probably really good because of uh, steel, wouldn't it? Yeah, it could be. Alright, let's see. Yeah, casting support. Yeah, we just want that on forever. I think my local Best Buy still has a copy of All Stars. It's crazy. Not for much longer. Shit. Why'd you say that? Not when I get there. <laughs> What are you gonna do? Are you gonna eat all the copies? I'm gonna put like a like a glob of like of like Play-Doh in his. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put like a glob of Play-Doh in his mouth and just push down on his head and, and, and watch as he grows hair. What are you? What? <laughs> I know what you're talking about. That's so fucking mean. <laughs> Holy shit! He's just gonna he's just gonna munch down the clay. Jesus, Jesus wept. Dude, I love Hellraiser. I should, not sh I should just not shave anymore to ruin the bit. You're gonna... Oh, I'll, I'll just simply make fun of your shit haircut. Like, like you're not gonna win regardless. No, Alto is not a good person, as we've established. No, no, I'm not. <laughs> I didn't read any of that. I don't know what they just said. <laughs> uh, you, have, you have to find the silver monkey to together. I was really hoping you had actual information for me, but it turns out not. What in the fuck is this? Plant yeah. dragon. That's the plant dragon, bro. Ah, okay. That's cool. That's El Jefe. It's El Jefe, bro. Ah, the boss, okay. Yeah, that's a uh, Spanish for uh, the Jefe. I hate you. I literally said what it meant out loud. What? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm white. I don't know what Spanish means. <laughs> I feel ill. <laughs> Alto is kind of like Morbius. What is this? <laughs> this is the funniest comparison I can think of. Plant Dragon sounds like a vanilla Yu Gi Oh monster from 2003. <laughs> it's level 6 with 2000 attack and 3000 defense. And there's the one in chat going, uh oh, the Pred of Plants have appeared. Hey, Honor, thank you for the 67. If all of those Morbius, the Kuba's Matt Smith, any day of evil Morbius. <laughs> Is that Morbius true. already evil? <laughs> no. Despite him being a Spider Man villain, they can't make a, a movie about a villain and keep him a villain, so obviously he's a good guy. separate times in the film Morbius in which someone goes yeah and Morbius killed all of those evil mercenaries that deserve to die <laughs> to ensure you that he never did anything wrong 
I'm always telling myself this. Trails more of you Marvel Black Adam. No, because it wasn't anywhere close to good. It didn't have an actual, like, progressive message like Black Adam does. It also didn't have Kanye West. Yeah, it had to have sex. Alright, will you tell me the message I missed? No? Okay, I have no idea how to progress now. Uh-oh! <laughs> All right, let me go look up a guy, Chad. Hold on. This is unfortunate. Let me do this before I, uh... Before I get hit by boulders again. Boulders, yeah, I did that. Okay, it turns out I actually do have to push it this way. Okay, at least it seems to be that. I get it. So we moved this so it's no longer in the boulders way. Chat, I pushed the pillar to the correct spot by accident. <laughs> Swine up. <laughs> ah, here we go. To the old sorcerer shrine. <laughs> uh, yeah, the sorcerer shrine. Here, the altar of the abyss. Here to find my grandchild. How the fuck did he get all the way over here? Good. Wow. Puberty's weird. <laughs> <laughs> Just a 10 out of 10 character. Now I understand why it's a cursed forest. <laughs> Mac. Wait. But he's calling me. Mac is possessed by the forest. If you get too close, you might end up cursed also. I have to save him. No! Bad idea. This is why they called the skeleton down. Oh, uh, great. I lost a party member for this fight. <laughs> Yeah, 
And I guess, uh... Uh, yeah, I guess, I guess we're not meant to actually attack the one that she's on. Thinking about it. Yeah, I guess that's the one. I guess C is the one she's being held by. I would have one person attack just in case, because maybe you can free her and get her back mid-battle. Sure, I'll have everyone attack separate ones. Oh shit, you have Black Whip. That's bad! Oh shit, I didn't even notice you're on the HUD! Yeah, yeah, she's yeah, on I, I she's think. on C. We gotta cut her out of it. Can you target her with the healing spell? Yeah, I'm on it. Okay, sweet. Nope. No. Oh shit. Nope. We gotta go fast. <laughs> I was too tired yesterday. Holy shit. <laughs> Jason missed that. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Jason's so unbelievably good. It's a shame he kind of, his career ended here. <laughs> Yeah, I gotta start healing them. I did see that he was knuckles. That was the first thing. I'm like, all right, let me find, let me find the notables in here. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna die next turn. I heard noises, that had to have been it, yeah. I swear to God, if you got grabbed again, I was gonna scream. Oh, she has the same HP she had when she got captured. Yeah, they know. Seems like a good battle where prison uh, would work. Yeah, I can finally focus on that now. And you cast support on Jansen. Alright, let's go. Okay. Uh, yeah, our GC's really low now, so the back row hits will actually hurt. Also, he keeps buffing. I wonder if specific tentacles do specific buffs. Yeah, it, it might in fact be like that, yeah. Uh, no, just do another herb. There 
we go. Uh, give Kaim support. I'm going to have him start casting in a second. Okay. So it looks like the, the ones on the top do the obsidian side, the one on the bottom right does the power whip, it looks like. up his MP so he just didn't even do it. Uh, do you have an item that can repeal? Uh, yeah, we got, we got some. We got Zephyrs. Nice, sorry. on HP bar too. <laughs> He's the only target. Hmm. I don't think I'm supposed to hit him. May, uh, maybe it's like the battle you did earlier where, where Cook doesn't have an attack. Yeah, I'm a little concerned here. Hold on, let me drink my, drink my this. Yeah, I guess I'll just guard. Yeah, I, 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 I can't decide what, the, what I want to do with this. I guess I gotta attack. You really don't have any other options. Yep. Yeah. Ah, Max in the way. If we attack, we're gonna hurt him. Yeah, no shit. Nothing but trouble. How about knocking him out? <laughs> yeah, let me see if I have a sleep spell. That's what I was thinking too. I'm like, we have to have some move in our uh, in our repertoire. Cook is dead. <laughs> did, uh, did you ever clip the, the 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 magic defense buff? Yes, I did. Oh damn! It's doing that much through it. Oh no, I didn't. I didn't apply it. No. Oh. They're a white mage. Oh, 
Jesus. Holy fuck! Okay, we can now fight it now. Okay. Yeah, it's unfortunate that uh, getting getting them up and having them stay alive is entirely based on luck here. It looks like all it can do is uh, is hold the target, anyways. Yeah, my my main issue is it keeps going going be it keeps going after one character, which yeah. means I'll revive then not have enough space to to heal because I cannot I cannot pre-target for heal spots here. They have to be alive. Okay. okay. Uh, oh, we we could have almost gotten it, but it looks like yeah. Now Jansen was not going immediately next. Yeah, they just keep targeting back around. These bosses do not fuck around. Yeah, they do not. Not not at all. Just so we're on balance, yeah. The fact that this one turn I didn't revive Cook was the first time that the enemy went last. I did notice, and I did get very silently angry. <laughs> anyway, let's move. Genuinely, insanely infuriating. Uh, you're attacking that. <laughs> oh, I am I? Did he wake up? Fuck! Ah, beans. <laughs> I have no option here. I can't do anything with her, actually. <laughs> you know what? Fucking heal Kaim, I guess. I don't know. Do you have any uh, items that can restore MP? I can't put him to sleep also. We've lost. <laughs> Hold on. Does anybody else have this? Anybody else got sleep? Uh, nobody has the MP for it but Cook, and Cook is dead. So we have to wait until Cook is alive again. What are you doing? I'm, pl I'm streaming. Okay. Not you, I'm sorry. It's never about me. Never. My, do my dog's just rubbing his face on the floor. Wow. <laughs> That's probably really itchy. History. Yeah. I had to buy flea and tick medication for this. For this. Okay. Well, the thing is that he's do I'm fine with him rubbing his face. This fight board. is unwinnable now. <laughs> I, I think you're dead. Like, there's, there's, it's pretty much dead stun chat. <laughs> Fuck you, can't take you down with me. <laughs> I've only known you for an hour. You can die. Sorry, he deserved to die. Let's be honest here. What did he offer? Nothing. Fucking nothing. Put him in the put him in the fucking grave. I'm not even doing the hour-long funeral thing for this kid. We're dumping him. We're dumping him. You bed. going on that fucking rant as the game over screen is happening is killing me. It's as we're driving away, I'm like, nah, we're getting the fuck out of here. Fuck that shit, man. 
crazy. Anyway, chat, we'll end for today. We've been going for about five and a half hours. You just fucking killed the kid and then you're gonna end the fucking stream on child death? Yes. It was his fault. Just don't run into the fucking obviously cursed forest, asshole. Yeah, hey, I get. Hey, I mean, maybe, yeah. Hey, maybe they don't make an encounter where if Jace's MP runs out, Casey literally can do nothing to save this situation. I jacked. I was like, surely there's another option. It was like, no, no, we're we're uh, work. We are in fact cooked. Any rings I can make, maybe? Help in the future? No, I don't have the items for sleep rings. I need. Need more Sandman seals. What the fuck do you get Sandman seals? I don't know. There's just something on the ground. You just pick shit <laughs> up in this game. I remember that. Uh, every boss in this game is kind of, kind of, kind of a toughie. The first boss is funny. They're just like, if the AI does the spread attack enough, you just lose. Just hope they don't do it. <laughs> just hope it's single targets. Half of the main story encounters dreams just in Jack going. Yeah, I won because I lucked out. That's it. That's pretty much it. Anyway, chap, we'll be back. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow, and we will we will clear it up. I will grind a bit off screen, and uh, by the way, you can't grind much in this game at all. I'm just doing it so that we can learn all of the skills, which should take about 25 minutes. But thank you for coming by. That'll do it for me. I'd like to thank Crimson Helm. Matang and party favors for the donations. I'm awesome using the party favors. <laughs> Thank you, party favors. It's pretty good. More adventure gaming next time. <laughs>